what's good, everybody? Yo. Y'all know what time it is. Time. Y'all know what time it is. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the Honest to God Podcast, episode 100, man. Y'all know what it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We live on Facebook today. I got to make sure that we don't uh, use no music. So yeah. <laughs> I got to make sure I don't accidentally hit one of these joints, bro, because they're going to cut us right off, man. Can we just cut it off and just start just pop? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> like, just give it like, a, give it like a two second. Like, yeah. yeah, man. How my dogs doing, though, man? We made it, baby. 100, good. baby. Good. 100. Good. Zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> yeah. Real hey, slow. Zero to 100, 100 real, real slow. slow. Yeah. Real, real <laughs> slow. It was what, three, three years? Three years. It only took us three years, man. That's like, like 33 episodes a year. I ain't mad at that. That ain't really that bad, though. It ain't fairly too consistent, bad. man. Yeah, we can break it down. But Kazan yeah. had kids since we started, man. A lot's changed, man. That's facts, so, bro. That's facts. Yeah. We went from mask on to mask off. Oh, that's <laughs> that's shit. crazy. Right. We didn't think we was going to get out of that. <laughs> right. Bro, that's, that's a fact, crazy. bro. Crazy. And y'all feel like, like this is a new normal. <laughs> y'all feel like, like it's... been through two presidents, too, right? Nah. Two oh, yeah, yeah. Trump yeah, was in when we started. Yeah. Yeah. Was in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, man. We back though, man. We here at 100. We probably right. gonna miss next week, but we here for 100. Oh, <laughs> That's all that Out though, the man. gate. Off the dribble. Yeah, man. Y'all know what it is. If y'all tapping in with us on Facebook, man, make sure you jump in the chat and just, you know, interact with us. Talk to us a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Share it. Too, but it talk to me, to baby. Do something a little different. We got some of our regular listeners coming on the pod today mm-hmm. for different segments. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be dope, man. But. Got to kick it off with my dogs, man. Well, who had the libs last? I don't even remember. Let's say Carlin, bro. I, I want to say Carlin. Carlin. Yeah, I want Matter of fact, I, I think... feel like it's Carlin, bro. Yeah, let's go with Carlin, man. Just... <laughs> who, I had the libs. Who giving them to, bro? <clears throat> when was last time we? When was last time we uh potted? Like two weeks ago? It was a minute ago, bro. I don't even remember what we talked about for. I was real. trying to look it up right now. I can't. I what was we talking about? The, uh, the Lord. Little missing submarine, right? Yeah, missing submarine. Yeah, yeah. We talked about Kinda that. <laughs> yeah. Push a T and Jim Jones. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, that was Push It and Jim Jones. That was a grip ago. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro. If I'm being honest, we gotta get we gotta do the give and go for 100. Got to. Only right, man. <laughs> Only right. We start the start the new season off with a give and go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Off the rip. Yeah. Tripping off. My bad, yo. It's kind of crazy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. We gonna keep it moving right along today because we got some people coming on in like ten minutes, man. Let's get oh, right man. into the honesty of Because we man. live. Baby. Listen, That's I can't play the J Rock joint. They gonna get me. I think I could play this though. This same. You be rapping. You, you everywhere. You out here in the mud. You know what I'm saying? Right? You, you brave. I don't trust it, bro. And I, don't I respect trust that, it. man. <laughs> keep winning. Keep winning. Hold up, let me do it again, and we do the instrumental with our with our own yeah. voices. Yeah. <laughs> you be rapping. You everywhere. You out in the mud. You know what I'm saying? You, you brave. And I respect that, man. Keep winning. Keep winning. <laughs> Honesty Awards, man. Who we got today? Who we got today? Who wants to kick it off, man? Honesty Awards. I got. Yeah. I got one for you. All right. But mine's is also uh, controversial, so. Oh, we going right into the controversy. Yeah, man. You know, I'm just All right, let's go I'm just out it, here. Uh, go. I got to give an honesty award to Jason Aldean's wife. Have y'all heard about his uh, scandal in the news? I haven't, but let me give him a round of applause first. <laughs> well, you might want to hold off on the round of applause. Oh, I mean, it's an honesty <laughs> award, so that's. Who is right, Jason Aldean? What happened, bro? Jason Aldean? <clears throat> I don't even know who that is either. I'm not going to lie to you. I Y'all got to get hip to the country music, man. Oh, bro, is, is he better, he better than Darius Rucker, though? Carlin already knew he wasn't hip to the country music. Is he better than Darius Rucker, though, Carlin? That's the question. Uh, I don't know. Some some people may argue that he is. Who's I know Darius Kane Rucker? Brown. Darius Rucker, the, the, black, the black country dude who be killing it, though. 
Kane Brown is black too, I think. Hey, Brown Kane, Brown, cool. Kane Brown, Kane Brown is. Kane Brown light skin though. Goodness. I don't know about none of that. Kane Brown is super, super <laughs> light skin. All right, what, anyway, what dude do? What, what his wife do? What happened? So what walk us through it. I actually didn't. I didn't see the video, so I can't really like comment on what it is. But from what I hear, he put out a song called "Try That in a Small Town," and a lot of people oh, saying it was like antagonistic, and it's like we protect our own. But I don't think that's really like specific to like that crowd. I feel the same way. Like growing up, even on the south side of Youngstown, it's like people from the north side can't come into the south side and do whatever they want. So from that aspect, I could see it, but I can also see the other side of people trying to make that like about race and don't come down to the south and treating it like a a sundown town. But that's not what he was saying. But Either way, Wait, this he guy stood. is black. This is a black nah, he guy. White. He white. Oh, I'm about to say he just he tra- white. He is straight traitor, then, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> what type of stuff? What? <laughs> so it's controversial because he's so like. So they think saying, it's a racist song. Basically, he thinks they think it's like more racially motivated because mm-hmm. he used like clippings from like I guess newsreels, like stuff they put out in the media. He just used that and said, "Try that in a small town." Really, he's saying like. We try to keep our things nice and keep people accountable. Yeah. But other people are perceiving it as like him being racist. And it's just like That ain't fair. And though. his wife his wife <clears throat> came out and was like, We're standing on it. And I I gotta respect that because like if you look at it through a, a lens of like somebody trying to be racist, then you gonna think that. But if you don't know them, you can't really like make that assumption. Right. And I'm just tired of people like weaponizing every single thing that happens. Mm. It's it's not okay. So like, if you're gonna like say what you want, you know, people can take it how they want to. But if mm. you want to, if you want to be offended, you're gonna be offended, regardless. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah, are gonna take, fact. gonna pick their stance. Like, that's a fact. Without even having. I mean, you can't just but associate people, small towns with with racism, even though like, I mean, because there's there's small black towns. You know what I mean? Like, you can't yeah. just be like, oh, just because what it sounds like to me is like he's making a. He's making a, I guess, like a, a comment about like city living versus like small town living. And that's that is yeah. a mindset. It's like, don't be doing that stuff like in our town. Like that don't mean it's necessarily like a racially driven. It could just be right. like this is our way of life. And we don't we don't fool with that. over But here. I'm just thinking of like I came through at it through the <clears throat> lens of like growing up in a church. Like you ain't going to do something like crazy if you see one of the other saints out. Like, if the Saints see you doing something crazy, they're going to tell your your parents. And then it's, like, over. It's curtains. Yeah. And, like, you can get it from from them. You can get whooped from them. You can get whooped from your parents. You're going to get whooped from your parents, too. Yeah, so, it's, it's like. Different terms. Bro. That's, that's like, a, that's not, that's why I'm thinking. It's not specific to a small town. It's, like, I felt that way in my church. Like, you can't go out and, like, act crazy. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. 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 Oh, I see what you're saying. Like everybody knows each other. Yeah, I wasn't. Everybody in knows Youngstown, each other. And, I, and small town is relative too, because to me, Youngstown is yeah. a small town. That's but what to I was, a lot of people, I was Youngstown is a, is a big town. Like so, yeah. everybody. I knows definitely everybody wasn't knows. getting away with nothing in Youngstown, bro. I know Dennis wasn't either, bro. Everybody nah, knew your family. Over. So it yes. over. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time. Uh, I think I told y'all this story. I remember one time I went to this uh, to this icebreaker at Wise I'm just in there, bro. Just, just, just there. This cat like woke up to me and said, "Man, what you, what you doing, <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be here, dog. What you doing? Here? When you there, like, when you, you saw right, where somebody asked you that, you know you should. I like, bro, you you right, bro. I just went ahead and bounced. That's <laughs> immediate. <laughs> <laughs> what else I can do? I'm get on out of here. That's immediate <laughs> conviction, bro. Like, like when a cat right, ain't bro. even happy to see you there, cause he like. I mean, cat don't even want to see you where he's at. Why you here? Like, <laughs> right, right. Like we all out here having a good time, and you you gonna question me? Like, yeah, yeah, it was, it was yeah like you're right, bro. I'm out, cuz. Yeah. That's a good point, though. I got an honesty award, man. Real quick, yeah. we got like a couple minutes. Uh, I gotta give you an honesty award, <clears throat> and I want to have more of a conversation about this on another episode because this could lead into a lot. But um. It's this guy named Tim Ballard. I want to give an honesty award to. It's a movie called The Sound of Freedom that just came out. I don't know if y'all heard about it. Mm, it's basically mm-hmm. this guy's actual story about like fighting sex trafficking um, and taking down like um, 
you know, sex traffickers, basically, and saving the children is the more of the focus. Um, and so this movie, just to give a little bit of a backstory, it was owned by Disney. They didn't want nothing to do with it. They refused to put it out. They sold it to this Angel Studios, which is like a much smaller, like, you know, production company or whatever. Um, <clears throat> Angel Studios ended up putting it out. Didn't get no type of media push or nothing like that. Um, but first week, it dropped the same week as Indiana Jones, which is a Disney movie, which is funny. And first week, it, like, majorly outsold Indiana Jones, like, without any type of, like, media coverage or nothing like that. And, um, I don't know, I think it's crazy because, like, CNN and, like, a lot of these, like, super, like, I guess, liberal media, uh, outlets are, like, trying to, like, discredit the movie. Like, they, like, wrote an article, like, this is encouraging, um, what do you call it, conspiracy theories, and this is, like, Rolling Stones did an article that said, like, this is a dad for, like, wannabe dad superheroes or something like that, like, this is a movie, and the dude is, like, this dude, Tim Ballard, is a real guy the movie's about, and he's, like, why are y'all, like, politicizing, like, child sex trafficking? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, why would you be against people knowing yeah. about this? You know what I mean? Like, exactly. they're basically trying to discredit the movie and say it's, like, very exaggerated, and he's, like, this is my real life, and I have documented proof of these actual stories. And he's like, actually, in real life, like, the movie don't even depict what happened in real life. Like, it was far worse. It um, turned like a whistleblower. Like, a whistleblower, and it's weird. Like, I just find it real weird that they're, like, really... Like, they make such an attempt to, like, discredit a movie. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, Taken was a fictional movie about the same thing, and nobody was on the media like, yo, this is, like... You know, I don't know. It was just weird. Or like, Mass facts. You don't see movies about, like, somebody taking down a drug cartel, and you don't see the news, like, oh, this is not real, it's fictional. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why are they going so hard against, yeah. like, this type of story? He must have, um, uh... He must have wrote that himself. I know the writer's on strike. He wrote it himself. So they <laughs> well, down. this this movie been they this movie been down. done for like I think they said it been done for like four or five years, but nobody oh. like none of the main outlets wanted to put it out. So yeah. this Angel production, which is like put it out. a Christian one, put it out, um, and they end up outselling like everybody. Like they well, like, you just said, wow, really bro. I just realized what you just said. What you said it was a Christian production. That's why they against it so yeah. much. Well, I think, I mean, personally, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I feel like there, like, there's an agenda that they're trying to, like, hide. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. CNN and all of that is like, well, we know what this can possibly exploit, and we don't, we want to keep that on the hush, because we got, yeah. you know what I mean? Money like, we don't want, ball, bro. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Money money ball, keep bro. your moves spinning. Yeah. I haven't seen the movie I want to go see. I've only heard good things about it. Like, yeah. What's the name of the movie again? The- Sound, of Freedom. Sound of Freedom. Yeah, check Sound it out. And the dude got a podcast. Like, I was listening to his interview with uh, Jordan Peterson. Like, all real good stuff. And it's like, I don't know. They're just trying to politicize it and make it seem like, oh, this is a far right wing conspiracy theory movie. That's like, and I'm like, bro, he's just this guy's just telling his story. Like, and it's it's super like, super. Uh, what you call it <clears throat> just super effective <laughs> like you know yeah. what i mean and they doing this like pay it forward type of thing so you can actually get free <clears throat> tickets to this movie like just look it up just look up like sound of freedom free tickets because um they did like a pay it pay it forward type of model just to get the the word spread and i believe that all the proceeds are going to his <clears throat> organization that like does these missions and stuff um so yeah it's it's just it's interesting, you know Definitely what I mean. I wanted to give up. him a give him an honesty award. So let me yeah, give him a shout little out to him, man. round of applause. Yeah. yeah, we might be a few minutes behind schedule because uh, nobody's in the thing yet. But so we could just roll with that. For <coughs> a minute. That's cool, man. I got a, I got an honesty award, man. All right, who we got? I'm gonna give an honesty award to myself. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm, out. Yeah. I'm all for Mal it, bro. <laughs> all Mal's honesty award is himself, though. <laughs> Self love. I tried to, I tried to tell my brother something, man. They, you know, they be thinking I'd be on my conspiracy theory. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all after Kendrick was gonna drop, TD was gonna release massive amount of music, right? Shout out to J Rock, he dropping soon. 
Is he? Yeah, dropping soon. Bet. Re- Shout I'm out here, to me. I'm here for you. Hey, okay. J. Rock, what it. this like? Seven years. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, man. It's mixed and mastered. It's ready. Mix and mastered. Hey, we got the boy Nick on here, though. What's, what's good, up? Nick? What's up with it, Nick? I didn't mean to what's cut good, you off. What's, no, what's, what's good? What's good? How you feeling, Yeah, hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear like you. you. Coming through your uh, <clears throat> earphone. Yeah, go to your, uh, you see where it says settings? Yeah. Click that and then go to your audio and make sure it's the mic. Make sure it's on your microphone. It sounds like <clears throat> it's coming through your computer or something. Either way, it's cool, though. How yeah, that sound? Yeah, better. Oh, that's better. Yeah, 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 yeah better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, fellas? What's good, man, bro? You know, we what just up, on Nick? here. Just, just on here, man. You know what I mean? Episode yeah, 100. Awards, uh, Oh yeah. man, C- congrats to the 100, man. That's a <clears throat> that's a heavy thing. A lot of people don't put in that consistent work, man. Yeah, it only took us. It only took us. They ain't out here years. working like us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can't say out here working. <laughs> it only took us three years, but we're here. Oh yeah, yeah. man. Cassandra slow said, pro- "Slow process better than no process." Yeah, exactly. Facts though. Cassandra said she had to download Chrome, so she'll be on in a few minutes, man. So we could uh, Google on Chrome. Just, hey, hey, Mo, TDE, yo, the Mo, Chrome downloaded. TDE, bro. They now that Kendra them. gone, man, they got to get a better uh, release recipe. They just yeah. dropped the earth. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, because yeah, they don't got no excuse now. You said they you said they always had to wait for Kendrick to get out the way. They yeah, should they drop one album them. a year now, bro. At least. Yeah, yeah, they got enough people on there. They could drop an album a <laughs> year. It's still. Have five years in between. In between, time. right? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, them J Rock songs you sent us go crazy though. Yeah, 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 they hard. It's good to hear J Rock don't back. don't really miss, yeah. bro. Yeah, like yeah. I'm I'm excited to hear that for sure. Hey, hey, my, my last honesty while we waiting on Cassandra before we move on. Uh, shout out to all the kids, man. Turning one, man. <laughs> all of us, bro. All started, of our kids. All we of started our kids, with Ty and then running for the next, <laughs> the next two months. Yeah, bro. Literally a month, like, and within a month, all of our kids turn one. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, man. man. Shout out to all shout the kids, out. man. We <clears throat> be around in the house. Hey, bro. That's one of the, that's one of the craziest things, though. That's one of the craziest things. How do four people have babies within a month? Like, without talking about it, planning it, nothing. It was Just, secret for everybody. Like, hey, <laughs> hey, hey everybody, we say nothing. Only kid I knew was Kayla. Kayla. <laughs> Kayla, Kayla, Kayla I know about know. everybody. I know about all of y'all. Except hey, Mount. Yeah, guess what, bro? Yeah. And then Cass I'm like, I might have life. to just. Cass got that real life chemistry. Right. There, right? <laughs> That's chemistry for real. Chemistry run trying. deep. <laughs> yo, what's up, yo. Cassandra? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's How on? you doing? I'm good. How y'all doing? Good, good. You know, we here. We here. Episode 100, Episode man. We 100. here. Welcome, That's crazy. Man. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Let's go, Cassandra, man. One of our earlier guests. Yep. One of yeah. our yeah. before we hit episode like 10. I think you was on. <laughs> right, yeah, right. congratulations, yeah. y'all. That's big. Thank man, you, thank you, thank we you. Appreciate it. it. Yeah, man. Let's move right on to the to the next segment, though. Let's keep it moving. Um, so this segment we wanted to have Nick and Cassandra on because we we definitely we definitely be giving our views from a straight male standpoint. So we had to. I, I definitely wanted to hear Cassandra's thoughts on this. Um, and so I, I guess I'll set it up, and then we'll just go into the conversation, right? So. I don't know if y'all seen it's kind of old news now but for the and this isn't really what we're talking about but it'll lead into the conversation but um a couple weeks back the kiki palmer situation all right are y'all familiar with that (laughs) what happened yeah so for our listeners who might not be familiar kiki palmer um has a baby and, and is a, in a relationship with this man or was i'm guessing i don't know if they still are or not but at the time they were um she went to a Usher concert in Vegas um, with dressed in a pretty seductive cheeks dress. Up. Yeah. She had her cheeks on. I mean, <laughs> she cheeks just out. Yeah. Yeah. Being honest, her cheeks were just out. <laughs> pretty seductive. Um, Usher brought her on stage, and this is on, like, they got this on video. Usher got her on stage. He's singing to her, serenader, serenader and stuff. It's a part of Usher's show. Um, and then I guess she was grinding on him and whatnot, and she turned around 
you know, and showed the whole crowd a, a full view of her dress, you know, from the back. <laughs> and um, from the bike, from the bike. And her man, her man wasn't feeling it, so he he post. I guess did he comment on the video on Instagram, or I think he, he commented on it on and posted it and music. said, uh, basically said like, um, you know, you're a mother. I can't believe like, you know, why would you wear something like that and show it to everybody like you're a mother, and so. Well, let me go on record, first of all, and saying, like, dude is a super cornball for addressing it that way. Like, I don't agree with that at all. Um, but anyways, people were kind of killing the dude and, like, you know, he's he's body shaming her. He's, I, got the, <clears throat> I got the tweet to it. You know, all right, yeah. Yeah, he, let's, he let's read the tweet. the video. He said... Uh, <laughs> Give us the facts. <laughs> he said, we live in a generation <laughs> where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others and he gets told how much of a hater he is this is my family and representation i have standards and morals to what i believe i rest my case that was the first <clears> one i mean that was like the, the follow-up okay but the the original tweet was it's the outfit though you a yeah, mom right so that's corny that he aired her out like we could probably all agree on that right like yeah. Yeah. it's corny the way he handled it but this is the conversation i want to have along that line because people were killing him for that reason like you know that's you can't tell her how to live her life like this and that and so i want to hear from y'all you now as people who have experience and have, people who have a lot of knowledge um in relationships is it okay to have standards <clears throat> that you expect your your spouse to hold to and if they, and uh, and how, I guess how to handle it if they don't hold to those standards, right? Like, so I guess we could address the first one because, yeah, I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all share. I want to hear y'all thoughts. Like, if you're married or you're in a serious relationship, you have a kid or whatever. Like, is it okay to have like a list of things? Like, hey, you're not. I don't want to say not allowed because that sounds controlling, but like I would not like you to do this stuff. Or like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with you doing this. Like, where do y'all stand on that? Uh, so for me, bro, some stuff should be unsaid. It don't even gotta. Like, we don't even gotta speak about that. Like that's <clears throat> you. You should already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Now, with 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 buddy, you know what I'm saying? I don't. All right, that's where I stand. I don't think he's wrong for for having feelings about it. Um, you you was it was nuts to air out on social media yeah. like this is your lady, this is yeah, your mother, your corny. child. Like you you look nuts, you look nuts. <laughs> but but I don't feel that he's wrong for having feelings about that. Like if 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 that if, if that's not something that you cool with, yeah, you should be able to voice that. Of course, not to the world, but. You should be able to voice that. And I don't even think it's setting the standard. It's like, I know people try to bail her out. Like, yo, she's an actor. She, she's a singer. You know what she all, you know what she is, what she getting into, what, what her life is. Understandable. However, though, it is a level of, <clears throat> it got to be some type of level of, uh, I don't even know the word I'm looking for, but. Accountability. Is, yeah, accountability. Accountability. It got to be some level of accountability for, for your, <laughs> for what you doing. Like, come on, man. This is if, if you me, you me. Like, you ain't supposed <laughs> to be showing the world your cheeks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and it's it's. I don't know. I think it's. I don't think he. I don't think it's so much of a problem that he he had an issue with it. I probably would have had an issue with it too. Um, but it's just the way that it was handled. You know what I'm saying? It would look nice. I don't know, but I think like okay, so she did this on social media. Like this video was posted on social media, so that kind of forced his hand. Like that's embarrassing <laughs> for him. So yeah. like he got to say something, right? Like not publicly. I, though. I, I mean, yeah. say it publicly. Well, she had her she had her cheeks out publicly, so still, why he can't though, say nothing still. publicly? Like in my but wife, like she posted it. She didn't post the video though. Somebody, yeah, like, somebody she, was, she was out there though. Yeah. Well, she had. They if my a, wife posts something on Instagram, have that I'm gonna, I'm gonna though, come bro. to her on the side personally and be like, I'm I don't saying like the they didn't have no that, conversation right. about like what she did at the concert. Like they had no conversation about that because if they did, then he wouldn't have to say something. 
So that means he found out on social media. So he felt like he had to say something on social media. You think it was like a spur of the moment thing? Like he just I, saw it and was he like, saw I it and cool said something yeah. because she didn't. She didn't have any. She didn't have any conversation with him. Like, hey, this is what happened. So there was no open honesty and transparency. And whenever you don't have that, then things like that would bother you. Like, if somebody tells me, like, what they did before, like, it gets aired out, then I know how to prepare myself to handle it. And since they didn't have that, that's how he reacted. I don't think the way he reacted is right either. But I'm just saying that there was, like, a line that was crossed and he was in his feelings, but they didn't have that conversation of, like, hey, babe, this this happened at the Usher show. I just wanted you to know so you're not blindsided. And that's where I think the relationship wasn't as healthy. So I don't think you got time like that either. Though. I don't think you got time like that. <clears throat> well, I don't, I don't Everything think that it was. the touch of a button. So, like, somebody is Facebook recording you live. Quick, it's happening. I ain't got time to get on the phone. Hey, 30 seconds ago, guess what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> you don't got well, time for that. What was, so, the time, what was the timeline, though? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What you That's about what I'm saying. Now? Like, if it was just quick, then sure. But if there was, like, a longer period of time, then that should have been a conversation. I don't, I don't know, know I mean, when the video was posted and when it was uh when he saw it. Yeah, it could have been, it could have been East Coast, West Coast too, though. And Buddy <laughs> East Coast, it aired, it buddy aired three York. hours ago, and he like, ah, I'm asleep. I don't even know. Like, sleep. he wake up to it. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't man. know, bro. I think for crazy. I think for his lady to walk out the house wearing that, I mean. He obviously, but the, the problem is that if you look at his social media, he has no problem with posting her in bikinis and exactly. swimwear and all of that different stuff. So I don't see what the issue, I, I mean, you can't post your girl on one hand half naked and you're kind of like glorifying it. And then when she dressed in that, in that type of outfit, now you mad? Like, what's the issue here? Because if mm. you look at, you look at Buddy's social media, he posting her half naked, yeah. covering up her boobs and all that different stuff. So obviously you ain't got a problem with it. So, so what that's, makes that's it? That's super hypocritical, basically. I didn't, yeah, see, I didn't know the that. Problem is Usher is the problem. Like, rushing, yeah, grinding on Usher. That's the whole problem. That was worse if than the dress. If he had been doing yeah. that, then <laughs> yeah. he would have been fine with it. I think he would have been fine with it because, like you said, Nick, on his Instagram, he has pictures of her yeah. with no clothes on. So I didn't know I don't think it was a problem until... She was grinding on Usher, and she turned around, and Usher started staring at her like, "Oh, I didn't know you had back like that." That was the problem. Oh, <laughs> that was the problem. Yeah, that bike was biking. Retweet, retweet, that's a lot of energy. You put a lot of energy into freaking screen recording it, retweeting it, and then posting about it. Like that's you doing a whole lot when you could have made a simple yeah. whatever, and then you ain't even her husband. I'm sorry, you ain't her. Like who are you? That's like, why we needed you. That's why we needed you. Yeah, yeah. So I, on that I, point, I, then, that ain't that man wife. That ain't on that, that point, then wife. Cassandra. So is it? So you think? So all right, let me ask you this: um, Is it okay mm-hmm. to have those standards though in a in a marriage, or is it is it okay to even do that in a relationship that's serious, or is that like only? The marriage, uh, I say the marriage standard so, catch you. That's an yeah, automatic, yeah, you, right? You gotta, you gotta that's have what I'm saying in the marriage. The right. the marriage. Right. What but about a serious said, relationship though? Like they got a kid together. I'm not saying I don't, I don't know. Hey, I don't know how serious they are. I'm just saying when me and my wife were preparing for marriage, I wouldn't want her doing this. Even before we were married, I was I still kind of had like standards that I was like, I don't want you like going on Instagram and yeah. just. Like you know what I mean? Like, isn't it? Still standards. Aren't you, standards. But, Your values are what? Like you, you Christian, right? So you have these standards, you have these values, you have these expectations. Even if you wasn't Christian, you have expectations for you and the person for you and Nadia, right? Before, way before yeah. marriage, right? Homeboy, like, what kind of standard do they have when they're already on Instagram, already on social that. media, yeah. and doing stuff? So there was no standard. Yeah. The problem was the problem with Usher. At the end of the day, that's the problem. <laughs> it's a, it's a cat that can take so your long. lady. Like, a so cat that can take your lady. You want to take we ain't said that yet. <laughs> yeah, right. He was posting pictures of her way before she even had a kid. So it's not yeah. about you being a mom because before she was a mom, she was like that. You know what I'm it saying? So it's like, it, it ain't, ain't like you don't know. I think it's the insecurity. In the it ain't even insecurity. Usher. Buddy, it's, was, it's, Buddy was insecure yeah. all the way. He's insecure. He's in, like he's, he's definitely like, insecure. But like, okay, so this leads with Usher it. though. <laughs> Wait, hey, but bro, I wanna... y'all said no, no, no. Y'all, I, ain't, I can't let that slide. Y'all right, saying he's insecure, like it ain't Usher. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't got nothing 
Hey, bro. I should start singing to my lady. There goes my I'm I may be a little insecure. Like, oh, man. I know, I'm, I'm joking. I agree, well, I agree with Mouth. I ain't worried about nothing. Like, hey, dude, you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I yeah. agree with Mouth, man. I know yeah. each and every one of you outside of Carla. Carla, I ain't never met your wife, but I know each and every one of your wives, and I'm sure none of them is leaving to Usher. I mean, he can right, sing all right, he want, but right. I'm, she can she, she, she hit she the falsettos all day. Yeah. Right, I can't, see, for I can't see T leaving Dennis for no Usher. <laughs> No, no, I got, nah. I got, I got things for Usher. Bro. We should let her speak for herself, bro. Where's Tia, bro? Where's Tia? <laughs> she's she gone. She's gone. Oh, yeah. You lucky, bro. You lucky. <laughs> she can come speak. She can come speak. It's like, nah. Hey, listen. I don't think that. I also don't think though. Y'all probably don't agree with this, and I don't care. It's fine. Oh, snap. <laughs> like, no, that's cool. That's, that's like, cool. Like, I think. I think that, like, when you're dating somebody. Like yeah, you have you have expectations or whatever, but I don't believe you should give somebody your thousand percent if you're not if you're not married to that person. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna treat you like you're my husband and we not married, right? I agree. So mm-hmm. I think I that agree. if you're saying, well, oh, you can't like this dude is on there talking about she can't wear this, she can't do that because yeah. I have morals, I have values, we're a family. We're first, <clears> you're <throat> not married to her, you're not even engaged. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm so not I think engaged. that no, they're not even engaged. Not and so my thing is like. Why would you give somebody? Why would you give somebody what you would give them if you're if if you were married? To them? Like then, what's the point of even getting married? You know what I'm saying? Like there's there's a there's a place for marriage. I just told yeah, this will sound crazy. I just told my daughter and Jonas this because they about to get married. Um, real hey, soon. Hey, shout out to man. Jonas. And Jonas hey, coming on. And up, Jonas man. coming on too for the music. So they gonna yeah. kill me. They gonna kill me because I'm saying yeah. I shouldn't be saying it. But whatever. No, don't don't like, say it. Don't say it. Nah, say it. No, I told you. I said, I don't believe stuff is official, official. It don't, it ain't really official all the way until you marry point. Like all, all bets are on the table until you make that covenant with God and you make that covenant with that person. I know that sounds crazy, but at the end of the day, like you're not yoked up with that person until you are married to that person. That ain't so, I, think, I don't think nothing crazy about what yeah, you just said. That doesn't sound crazy. Yeah. yeah. I just well, feel like, but right. I do feel like if you're like. Uh, I, I guess I agree. I just think if you have the intentions of getting no, I, married, I, like you're gonna hold to those standards because you you don't want to mess it up. You know what I mean? Like I hear, I hear you. But both Kayla. parties gotta feel that way though. Yeah. It's gonna be a mutual. It should like if you're to the point. Are we like about honestly, marriage if, standards. You know what I'm saying? Is oh no, saying? marriage standards are different. But I guess I feel like if you're to, if you're at a point where you have to lay it out for them, like they're not getting it, then y'all ain't ready for marriage. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like you should it's like that up. should be understood and. Y'all should already be walking in that by the time you get married to me. Oh. Like, if I'm still, like, okay. if we getting ready to get married and I'm still, like, babe, I don't like the way you keep doing this and that, it's, like, I don't know if you're ready for that, you know well, what I mean? I think it's hey, a but... difference. I think it's a difference yeah. from standards and telling person what you like and dislike about them. Like, if you carry yourself a certain way, you hold yourself to a certain standard, then I think that, like you said, like going into marriage, you should prepare yourself for that going into it. Right. Like, if you like, man, I need the house clean when I get home for x y and z that should be a standard that should be built up prior to getting married like you can't drop a ball so on somebody drop, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 three years right? in like hey do it like what like, well let me yeah, ask y'all yeah. this though hey well hold on real quick before oh, before you do that um and i just lost <clears> my train of thought listen in the nick no no it, it was going it was going off of what you were saying too though I, it'll come back it'll all come right back. so i but we all agree that once you are married, like it's okay to have some standards for your that you would expect your spouse to live by. Like I think, I think I'm it's not, absolutely necessary. Yeah, I think it's necessary too. So that's why I think some of the people who are commenting on it, I'm like, clearly y'all ain't married, or y'all might not be like because it's not necessarily. I'm not. I'm, this situation is different because dude is kind of a hypocrite, like you said, Cassandra. But I'm just talking about relationships and marriage in general. Yeah, I don't think it's nothing wrong with being like. Um, like I don't feel comfortable with that, you know what I mean? And as a spouse, they should respect that, and vice versa. Like and, I'm and not going to do certain things that yeah, I Carla, did. You to be me to Carla, but if they don't, you gotta be willing to stand. If they don't respect that, then it's like, okay, that's that's fine. I'm not going to change you, but like you don't have to like continue to commit to that relationship. Okay. I know, right? right. I think there's a right. difference of having like <clears throat> expectations and and standard mm. versus like controlling somebody. Like that's what I want to get you're at. You're not going to control and be like, yeah. well, yo. 
you can't wear this. I, we're not leaving out the house until you change your clothes because I don't feel comfortable. Like, I think that's doing too much. You can express, you know what, yeah. maybe you might want to cover up or maybe you might want to, you know, change uh, I don't it. Break. But if that's the person, if that's the person you got into a relationship with, you should know that about them. Exactly. You either got to be okay with it or like, no, I mean, you're not with say, them. Yeah, but come on now. How long y'all, y'all all been married for at least what, at least eight, ten years more, right? Somewhere no, around there? Six. No, six? no, no, no. Six. Oh, okay. six. Six. Five or Dennis five or been married for 15, like, and I've been, like, been married for like 12. Dennis been married for like 15. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dennis, you've been married for 15 years? No, I'm playing. No, don't listen to me. I'm only here. My whole point is, like, when you first get married to someone, right, when you first get, when you first got married to your spouse, like, everybody was younger right so you're growing yeah, you're evolving yeah, as learning. time yeah, goes yeah, on yeah, right so it doesn't mean that things might not change with that person as time goes on and i'm not even saying in a negative way but i'm saying as women become older we we come into our own when we're like in our 30s you know what i mean like we really yeah. mid 30s or whatever so you you might see some things that you didn't see way back then and it's not that it's a bad thing but you're evolving you're changing yeah. up like y'all yeah. ain't dressed the same way y'all was dressing when y'all first got married i'm sure oh, i was trash right? my swag was cool. I was yeah, trash. listen listen my wife tell me to this day i ain't allowed to wear the gray shorts nobody is they jean that's the question are they jean no no shorts? no the, the, the gray sweatpants shorts. Yeah. No. yeah yeah nobody can wear those this guy is so but my wife man i've been trying to buy them shorts gray for sweat. years she won't she won't let she controlling me you know what's going on in that she room. controlling that's me control. i can't like, yeah i've been wanting them gray shorts for years talk about the print <laughs> hey, nigga's a perfect person yeah. to have on it. Hey, 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 I remember my thought, though. I remember my right, thought. No, One thing we gotta re realize, though, and we gotta play in there, play into the factor, is the lifestyle. Said they live a different lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That plays a too. point into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. While we live a more modest lifestyle, they out here. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, y'all, so, so, get to the. What's not I'm acceptable not to us could be acceptable in a whole different arena. Different world, yeah. But 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 like like Cassandra said, you know he, that and pride got hit a little different. You know what I'm saying? It was Usher, like yeah. so he stepped out. He still, he stepped out of what he normally into to to, to, to look, look like he violated, but like he been violating. I think a part of the problem could be too, like you know how like I don't know, maybe maybe it's just me. I don't know about y'all, but like. Like, I know, Caleb, you know who Nadia think is, like, handsome, like, a superstar or actor or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, like, you should already know. You should know your spouse. Not saying I'm not saying lusting after that person or nothing crazy, but we all got people, we're like, man, that person is a dope whatever, or that person is fine. You don't mean nothing, nothing crazy by it, right? No, nah, there's not. We clearly... Clearly, I think when it comes back down to that situation, dude is just super insecure and clearly don't know her as well as he thought or is being right. critical. And I think in our situations, everybody, all the all situations is different because you do know your spouse. You do have standards. You do have expectations. Right. You have a healthy, you have a healthy yeah. marriage. You know what I'm saying? And so it's kind of hard. What? To, they know how we going to act. Yeah. But you're yeah. right, though. And that we got like, <laughs> we got like five, six minutes. But um, I think controlling comes from um what's the word you just used uh insecurity right yeah. Yeah. being controlling comes from insecurity and I, I only know that from experience because i used to low-key be insecure so some of my relationships i was like kind of controlling like you, i don't want you doing that because i just you know maybe it was some of it was what they was actually doing but it was also like my insecurities <laughs> so like i guess i was there for it so i don't, yeah, know. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know but hey, coming i had to get over that coming into a marriage like there's no way you could come into a marriage like that because i couldn't imagine always being worried about like where's my wife at what's she wearing who is she talking to like I gotta stalk her Facebook, you know, check her text. Like we don't, that ain't no way to go yeah. into a relationship. But I guess like, I think oh, go, ahead, I was, go ahead, no, no, whoever no, was no. about to talk, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, man. <clears throat> no, I was about to say we we had we thinking Buddy worried about Usher. He didn't even realize he had to draw four in his back pocket. 
There was a rumor about Usher going on the pass, if y'all remember. That he gay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he said that he's gay. Word, bro. Nah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, why would he, he just go for Usher? Like, he got, got, the, got the clap. He got, he got the herps. And the clap. Yeah. And the herps or All something. That. Yeah, so it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. He got, the, he got the gift they keep on giving. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be more mad about that. Allegedly. Right? You too close. You too close for him. Allegedly. Yeah. Back up, man. For you Hey, social distance. What you doing? I'm going to back up for you catch something. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Grinding on him like that. That's sweat. Spit might be coming out of his mouth. (laughs) 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 Right. (laughs) Cat beat him. Cat beat him. Spit on him. And now she got the head. Now you got to be more scared. I'd be more scared of that than he dancing on her. (laughs) Nah, for real. Hey, on the real though, um, as far as like controlling, I think that it depends on. Why you got your standards and how you present your standards and yeah, things of that nature? Yeah. Because I feel like you know what I'm saying there's nothing wrong with you know you dealing with something and this is how I need to live my life because of my past experience. Yeah. And I think that if you present that like if you went through like let's just say you was married before and you dealt with some infidelities and, and whatnot, and you present some standards like you know I need you to answer my phone when I call. Not on no crazy type stuff, but like yeah. I need you to be reasonable and, and, and be aware that if I call, I'm dealing with this type of thing because of my past. Right. I need you to understand that and be ready to heal with me and type stuff like that. And if you present it in that fashion, then I don't think <clears> it's controlling. <throat> but I just think it's the way you present it and why you present nah. your standards and how you live your life. Because you know, you're not talking down. You're don't not put your traumas on person. somebody else. Deal yeah, with I your think, traumas. I think that's, that's called being unhealthy. Like you got to you gotta work through that. And, and they should already know. They should already know before you even uh get married that you done been through that and you got those kind of traumas and already be worked like that. Marriage I'm saying, bro, you got that. a baby. That's nine yeah. months. But yeah. everybody, yeah. everybody nine goes months. into no, was, everybody goes into marriage with some kind of baggage though. Like shouldn't right. you as a good you spouse just, shouldn't you support like, oh, this you? Is where I'm at, I'm just crazy and I'm gonna just stay crazy. No, like, I don't accept it. No. it. no, 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 no. But no, your spouse, your spouse helps you work on that though. They should know about your traumas and not try to trigger your traumas as well. Yeah, because you're not gonna try to trigger somebody's traumas if you know it's there. Right. Yeah. Also yeah, yeah. can't think that somebody's like your current spouse isn't your last relationship so you can't yeah. take all that baggage and put it on them that comes with relationships mm-hmm. but you gotta like give somebody that information before you like really get oh, into it into it yeah and some no, stuff, some stuff don't saying. happen until it happened right some stuff you don't even know that you're dealing with yeah. a trauma until it until it exposes so yeah. exactly. and then you're like dang i, I wish i would have knew this three years ago or I wish I would have knew mm-hmm. this six months ago, and it, but but nothing happens in your life to where it, it arises. You think you conquered something, and then something will trigger you, and bam, you right back to, to three years ago. Right? Now you want to kill right. everybody. Exactly, exactly. So it, <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of those things, and something, I, something, something, <laughs> something, something, something I always was told was... <laughs> <laughs> even in marriage, you don't know your spouse till about ten years, and even then, yes, you don't know them because now you're learning them at ten years from when yeah. you got married. Yep. So it's all it's constantly evolving. You're learning mm. something new about them every, every single day. day. Every day, and then that's in marriage. Outside of marriage, if you don't got certain standards, man, you you could be in a in a whirlwind tornado every single day. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, it's one of those day. it's one of those things that just, it's just going to always evolve, bro. Because yeah. People now think they married and they not. You know what I'm saying? Just because you yeah. got time, man, it ain't no, it ain't no vows though. Like right? it ain't vows. Yeah. It's different. It's it the last different. thing I'll say though. I think a good relationship, a healthy relationship, if you're with somebody you know is the right person for you, they're gonna bring the best out in you. They're not gonna bring out your insecurities. Like, yeah. right. and I've been on both sides of that. I'm sure we all have. Like being with nadia like i'm i'm no longer insecure like i don't care where she goes like i trust her 100 <laughs> percent. like yeah. i don't care what you're doing like we're away a lot because she's at school in a different city like half the week or whatever so it's like i'm not worried about her like you know what i mean like in the past like i was the complete opposite but like being with the right person you know you could trust like it's gonna make you better so i guess for the listeners who might not be married or maybe you're in a relationship and maybe you think you're ready like just ask yourself that like are you becoming a better person in this relationship like is she helping you or is she like or not he he or she are they like you know triggering triggering your insecurities like you said like are they yeah, like, bringing those do they those... bring the best out of you or do they bring out the trauma exactly mm. Cause you Cause be they're doing one or the other because they're gonna be doing one or the other you know what i mean mm-hmm. like 
in reality. I so. Hey, no, wait, 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 wait. What, what Nick say? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'll be honest with you. You got to be careful that he or she stuff the day and age we live in, man. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Yeah. This the honest yeah. to God part. Really? You got to relax. This the honest, this the honest to God Z-Z part. Missouri. I say what I say and I mean what I mean. It's them and they. I'm letting my yes be yes and my no be no. It's them and they, man. Cats out there is confusing folk with this trans stuff, man. But that's a whole other conversation. Hey, yeah. Man. They about to take it a whole different way. Hey, listen, listen. They, they about to get us shut down. Nah, I mean, hey, you right, though. But it's, Hey, real, real quick, though, man. Uh, yeah. So I know we got to move on, but Cassandra and Nick, man, we appreciate y'all coming on for episode 100, man. Any, so any last yeah, words I want to give? Hey, listen, man. Y'all cats been telling me I was supposed to be on this show months ago. <laughs> Caleb, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Caleb been lying. Every time I see Caleb, he telling I me I, I got to get you on. <laughs> They know. We got you on, bro. Hey, Nick, we only recorded one episode since we saw you last, bro. We only recorded hey, one. Listen. So I've been wanting to get on since the uh, the cheeks episode. That that, episode. <laughs> that was that we should have had you on. That was the episode. That was the episode. That was the silliest. That was the silliest episode I've ever heard, man. But I appreciate y'all having me on, man. Nick is the queen's flip of the honest to god. Uh, he gonna be the queen's flip. Just come on and just stir everything up. Like, listen, man. You know, I'm, you know, they, they be killing me on my show, man. I, you know, they got to give me the uh, unleash me, man, so I can say what's really on my mind. Shout out to the um, yeah. uh, Nick, I feel that Shout, way, shout out to the, to the Blended Views. Man. Blended filter, Views man. on Filter, man. Check that out, too. Shout That's next to next podcast oh, yeah, yeah. with the, with Dre and a couple others. Yeah, we, so we got some folk out. on there. Some good people yeah. on there. Yeah. And yeah. shout out Shamar, too. I see Shamar in the chat. Shout yeah, out to Shamar. Yeah, shout out to Shamar, man. Gang. Gang, gang. Yeah, man. I, I appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate you, yeah, bro. Yeah. All right, man. Anything else, Cassandra? You got no, I just want to tell y'all congratulations again. Y'all been so consistent, you know, this entire time. And uh, truly enjoy y'all show. Love all y'all. Y'all are family. Love y'all are brothers. Yeah. Um, God bless y'all. All y'all kids. Y'all wives. All the kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, all the- when it, like, like Caleb said, when it comes to relationships, it's just making sure you know you know that person when, you, when you're coming into it. And be gracious with people. Be patient with people. I got to say that. Be patient with people. Ain't nobody perfect, y'all, for real. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, we appreciate you. Shoot, Max, give y'all a round of applause. Day one, friend of the show. Appreciate y'all, man. I don't know what time it is. (laughs) Actually, let me give y'all some attention. Get some gunshots. (laughs) Gunshots. We appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. All right, right, y'all. All right, right, peace. So man, shoot, that was a good combo. We gonna have to have a, a combo like that for like the whole like uh, the whole episode because that could go on forever. For it real. could, it could, because it can go, it can go <clears throat> any way, like any way, any way. Because I, I mean, I got some, I got some points that I could have brought up from the dude's side. You know what I'm saying? I could have brought up some points from her side. Yeah, but it, we, we don't got that kind of time today. This episode right. 100, we yeah. getting everything. <laughs> we getting everything. everything this episode. Two hours, bro. We ain't had a two-hour <laughs> episode in. I don't two know hours. how long, In about bro. six weeks. We've been going <laughs> like 60 or less, 60 minutes or less for a minute. That'd be uh, a tough thing, Dennis. That'd yeah. Like, with a bunch of people's out right now, man. You know, because it's so many different... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to hear all the views. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a good one though. We got to, we good, definitely got to have them back on for. Good man, one, we got to start one. doing this more often, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It only took a hundred episodes to see. Yeah, what you know, you got to figure it out, <laughs> man. You know what I'm but we figuring it out. We got to figure it out, man. We just, you know what I'm um, Jonas is running a few minutes late. I think okay. my sister Raquel gonna jump on too. But we can get into music though. In the meantime, oh here yeah, go Raquel right here. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Raquel, you here? Yeah, I'm here. I see the top of your head. Oh, there, there you go. go. What's up? What's up? Hi, What's up, guys? y'all? This is my What's sister up? Raquel. She's a regular, regular listener, man. Regular. Day one. Of real quick. Thank you, Raquel. <laughs> no, I just had to make sure like I was coming in at the right time. Yeah, we, and we that it really wasn't just gonna like that. broadcast me, and I'm over here looking crazy. Like we can't do it alone. That's what yes. Nah, <laughs> you straight. Good. You good? Jonas. Thank you for joining us, man. Yeah, I'm so no problem. Definitely. Jonas well, coming on in a few minutes, but we can start talking about yeah, music, man. Music, man. We might as well kick it off with My the new music, man. Hey, man, let's get into it, man. <laughs> let's talk about a little yet, bit of new music, I ain't music, got there man. yet, but I'm getting there as soon as we don't Magic, too. 
Nas and Magic Hit Boy two. Magic Two. Hey, hey man. Get up, man. Magic Two. Another one. Hit <laughs> Boy. Another man. one. Hit Boy and Nas. Hit Boy. Here go Jonas. What's up, Jonas? What's up, oh, Amazon. Oh. Shout out to Amazon. <laughs> oh, cool. I forgot cool. y'all Amazon cool. boys out here. Look. Yeah, boy. Jonas on the job. Right. On the job. On the you job, Jonas. You know we don't take breaks. I'm taking a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Dennis. Break. It's too hot out there. Dennis, give, give your people break. some breaks, Dennis. Give your people <laughs> some breaks. <bro. laughs> some breaks. Hey, I give our people two breaks. They get three breaks, bro. Two, two, fifteen in the lunch. If they don't take it. They don't take it. They don't take say, it. They, they People be trying to get done, breaks. man. They be trying to get done, man. <laughs> they be trying to get done. <laughs> Time is money out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean. We can take breaks, but when we take a break, I just feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> word, word. They working out too hard, man. I will never feel break for, bad for taking a break. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're saving me? I'm going to take my break. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Raquel be in there cooking up all the chicken wings, but she had B dubs, so you Ooh. already know. Oh, yeah. Don't act. Ooh, she was, hey, she would have hated us on Thursdays. Yeah. Oh, I hate everybody. <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays. Because we used to come in on Thursday, twenty deep, twenty and order deep, twenty wings, twenty a piece, twenty a piece, <laughs> 20 a piece bro. Oh my. Fifty God. cent wing day. Yeah. yeah bro. Like they probably took that away just because of us. They like we can't keep up with these. Guys. Yeah, like they they well, they exploiting what we trying to do here. Right now, <laughs> in the market right now. <laughs> right now, for, for tra- traditionals until August twenty second. If you come in, okay. you can get it's like you order what you order, but now the other half is free. The oh, other yeah, half yeah, is free, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you get exactly. 10 traditional that you pay for, and then you, you get you 10, have 10 for free. free. Yeah. All right, yeah, man. Shout out to right B Dubs. <laughs> <laughs> <Shout out to, laughs> <shout out to, laughs> that's not a good one. Hey, but hey, but the 10 piece is 20 dollars now, <laughs> right? Two dollars a wing. How you go from 50 cent wings to two dollars a wing? Hey, inflation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But let's get into some music, man. Yeah, uh, man. Jonas, I got to give Jonas the opportunity to, to to vouch for CHH, man. We dog CHH oh, every Lord. year. And Jon- every time I see Jonas on Sunday at Metro, he like, man, y'all got to stop dogging CHH, man. There's some dope, <laughs> hey, look, some hey, look, dope artists out you're the there. One to come to. So I'm, like, I'm like, I'm over it, bro. <laughs> so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. Raquel, you can tell us what you what you be listening to. I know you got some got some stuff that you be listening to. We're gonna do rate the bars. We'll just take it wherever it goes, bars, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. I got what some y'all? hot takes about music too. You got some Ooh, hot takes. Okay, okay. I was listening to okay, so I was listening to Magic Two. And the thought came across my mind like you know, this makes me think that like Jay Z was a kid who peaked in high school. Could he do the same thing that Nas is doing with Hit Boy? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, bro. I think he could. I think he could. I think I think it yeah, I think it could yeah, I think he could. I this is what I will say. Why ain't he? Because mm. he, he don't need to. I know he, he don't need to. He a Billy Goat. I think this is a difference the though. He's open the museum up. He ain't worried about no music. This is a difference, but though. The, I think Jay Z was already Jay Z was already regarded as a goat. Like nobody would really argue that. People like three years ago, a lot of people were arguing like Nas nah, shouldn't be in that conversation, and the arguments were he don't pick the best beats, he kind of fell off, he ain't dropped nothing hot in a while. And that Kanye, Those were the two. that Kanye album, the Kanye really album was wasn't it? So that they was the two. With that one. I heard so that was the that was like the two main things, and I feel like. He came back and dropped five albums in three years of with all hard beats pers- that were all like, fire pers- and all, all fire. fire. So I feel like you like I to me like you have to regard him as like one top of the five. greatest now. Yeah, he like, might be like, top I don't because I think top, he top seven, top seven. Like you know, like I feel like Jay Z dropped four forty four just to see like just to showcase like I'm still lyrical like I can I can do this. But Nas came out and just applied pressure. For three straight summers, bro. Back to back. Like, bro. That's, he, he said, that's on, tough. The one magic, I forget, it was like the second song. He was like, by the time you hear this, I'm halfway through the next one. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, he probably right. Like, bro, he probably, KD4. KD4. How many, on the way. <laughs> how many on songs the way. has he just like grinded out in the studio? Like, I don't know, bro. Like, that's the difference between like doing it for the love of hip hop and doing it because like I can. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, Nas is in Did y'all hear the song with uh, 50? 
I, I didn't. I That's the one yet. I gotta get yeah. to. I ain't hear nothing from Magic Two. I'm okay. listening to it after this podcast. I want to see how y'all feel on how Fifty sound. I felt like he came on kind of a little weird, but it's been a while for him. But I thought it. Was yeah, I wasn't. I expected more <laughs> from Fifty, and he only spit like yeah. eight bars. I was like, "That's it. Yeah, like he's then, done now." Like just Fifty is definitely like Fifty in a different Fifty, Fifty in a different too. stratosphere too, yeah. bro. Fifty, 50 was just saying time. a bunch of this. listen, listen. The writers is on strike. Fifty is writing shows now. <laughs> <laughs> those <laughs> those <laughs> those those bars, bro. He got to write. He got to write power, bro. It's coming write back, those man. Cards, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Nah, but 50, 50 one of my favorite favorite people ever. So I'm I'm excited to hear what he what he did on that. I mean, Jonas said he was kind of weak though. So I wouldn't be. I ain't gonna rush to it. Too. Yeah, it ain't. It, it wasn't trash, but it just wasn't. Right, like, I expected, 50 like, winks, I winks. expected many men fifty or something. Like, I expected it him to felt come like Nas seat. was like hanging, handing out like an olive branch to fifty. Like, hey, you from Queens, right? All right, we can do this song together. Like, you, you still New York? You yeah, still you can still do still this? Like, Nas was going. Nas was just and going. Nas was going on that track. <laughs> yeah. It looked good for fifty two. Fifty on the world tour right now for twenty years. Of, uh, twenty years to get rich without trying. This is last tour. So it probably looked good for him just to get another look real really quick. Not, but this probably the 50 last look. <clears throat> 50 last look. Because 50 ain't in shape no more, man. Yeah, probably. Like, lyrically, he's not in Derek with shape no more, man. He make a theme song. He don't need now. to be, though. That ain't his. We, I mean, <laughs> he make we theme that. songs. He make theme songs. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> hey, where's uh moving on? I mean, anybody else got anything on the Nas before we... Uh, it, yeah. All right. Know, it's, it's fire. Um, I mean, it's... He's fifty, bro. Like, bro he's forty. Hit boy, we gotta give Hit Boy some credit too. Hit Boy uses like the craziest sounds. Like, bro, this cat will have like I forget what song, what I don't remember. It sounded like he like reversed the snare sound out. Like, you know how like you could like put it in reverse. Yeah. And it just works, bro. I'm like, who would have thought to do that? Hey, like, wait, just... Hit Boy got like three albums out in three months. Yeah. Yeah, he, he got two of his own, too. and he got uh. Big hit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah big, big hit. Man. Him and his big pops. Big hit. Yeah. 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 On commissary. <laughs> Back on commissary restriction. <laughs> I was like, hey, big yo, hit. what? Big hit going crazy. <laughs> hey, what's the... Uh, Jonas, what's going on in the CHH world, bro? Yeah, man, we need yeah, to give know. Us some, give us some quality <laughs> CHH drop that we can listen to. One look great, man. Drop. <laughs> One trip dropping yeah, so, again. Trip? Trip got a podcast out right now uh, for his last oh, album, but he's been dropping singles that have been pretty dope. Um, we got a lot of collaboration happening. You know, Indie Tribe with like No Big Deal, Dude and John yeah. Keith, Mowgli's all right, uh, and uh, DJ Mike LV. I sent you that album, Caleb. Yeah. I told you about Solid. the album called Bodega. It's no, like it's a really boom good. bat CHH yeah. record. <clears throat> and I thought it was dope, one of the dopest things to come out. And so I'd say him. No big deal is coming. Trip is coming. KB's coming. Uh, KB is one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah, he got he he dropping some singles. He just put out a book a few months ago. Um, what up, RG? Has a collective now called Heaven on Earth. Uh, feels a little more of a current era of like hip hop in a way, but I feel like it's a very solid project. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. There's a lot of collabs going on. A lot of people coming together and just making some dope music. And for real, like, <clears throat> you know, there's vibes and whatever, but it seems like it's more Christ-centered. Um, mm-hmm. So that's, that's what I'm good. excited to that's see. Good. But I, that's good. Because like that's what it was lacking for a long yeah, time. Because yeah. Yeah. I think, like, you know, Andy and Lecrae and them was trying to, like, not do the Christian rapper thing to try to, like, expand because they talk about more than just Jesus, even though that's the main theme. But I think they're kind of coming back to the middle of, like, we can still talk about our life while we still glorify God. That's and what, people, whether that's people like it about. or not, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's I feel about. like that's, that's what people been, started to man. chase. I feel like people started to yeah. chase that like sound that they were trying to create because they had already established themselves. And then right. they started to grow and people were like, oh, we're just going to try to copy this. And it don't really hit the same. Exactly. For me. Right. For me. <laughs> right. Because yeah. like Lecrae had <clears throat> such a, already had a legacy before he tried to, you know, Right. Start veer in another direction, and so if you just try to copy Lecrae, you're not Lecrae. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't, have, yeah. we don't know you. You can't, like you can't <laughs> copy church clothes, Lecrae, until yeah. you do rehab, Lecrae, you know? Right. Or right. Jesus music, Lecrae. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. I, I got into CHH late. I really, I started listening around Gravity. That's what I was about to ask you when, when you started listening to CHA. Yeah, I got in late, like in late high school. I didn't even know about it for real because I grew up like my dad was a right DJ, so I just listened to all all the popular hits or whatever was going on. Oh, yeah. Um, so I so I listened to Lecrae. My favorite run of Lecrae, personally, is CC2, Anomaly, and CC3. I feel like CC3 is slept on. The whole it's like all like nine songs. CC3 songs. is tough. It's crazy. I went back to that before CC4 dropped, and I was like, yo, this was this was slept on, because he, right from the start, was going crazy. Going crazy. You got Dante here, too. Donny Vaughn. Dante. Hey, Jonah, 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 let me ask you this, though. So, you came in on Gravity, so did you listen to um, the album that put Lecrae over the top, though? Rebel? Over the top for real. Honestly, no. Go to Rebel. Yeah, Please go to go Rebel. Yeah, that Rebel thing. came before the rehabs and all of that, before church right. clothes. Go to that. That's what started the separation. Yeah. Gotcha. You'll, see, you'll see. Rebel it, ain't gonna hit as hard. It. Rebel ain't gonna hit today like it like when it came out though. Like yeah. it was a moment in time. It was it's gonna in feel dated Rebel today, then. but at yeah. that but, time but, that was but, like a but for somebody like you, you'll probably you'll probably love it. You'll love you'll it because it. Of, because that's when Lecrae was really like, it was just Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yeah. Like, literally. Well, he, he, here's the thing with that. Like, I, a- Andy's my favorite. Andy Mean is my favorite. And what drew me into CHH even more so was that I didn't know you could talk about God like this. And I didn't know you could talk about what you were going through as a Christian. Because growing up as a Christian, mm-hmm. you're trying to live for Jesus. You know, church can be performative. You know what I'm saying? No one's really talking about things. But in when they began to really talk about their life, their struggles, and, and even the church itself, that really pulled me in because it made me feel less alone. Because you know, in you high don't school, love rebel. Don't, know, don't, love nobody, rebel. don't nobody care about Christianity all like that. So you yeah. kind of feel alone. And then when I got into the cray trip and all them, and I'm like, man, we can talk about it like this? Like, you know, Humble Beast, I love propaganda. Yeah. Yeah, when I heard yeah, Beautiful yeah, Eulogy, yeah, I didn't yeah. even know yeah. you could talk yeah. about God in <laughs> such an great. intellectual way. I was yeah. like, what is happening? Yeah. So, like, yeah. Them dudes are super it, intellectual. Yeah. So, like, it made faith more tangible for me. It uh, made uh, just living this out like, oh, this this is real life. You know what yeah. That's what it did for all of us. That's why I think we miss yeah. that because I don't think, I, I kind of feel like it's gotten away from that. Like, I was in Atlanta, and I was around it, and the part of the problem is these dudes just ain't living it. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. these guys are just doing music because they want to do it. It ain't really, like... Because back in the day, CHH wasn't that big. So right. if you were doing it, it's because you really had a passion yeah, for passion God. For it, it, yeah, it's yeah. become, like, oh, this is a this is a thing. Like, you <clears throat> could just... You know what I mean? It's become, like, yeah. trendy, so... Yeah. But, I think even now, they're realizing that there's not a lot of money and being a mainly a christian rapper so either if you're gonna go all in you gotta love it you gotta do it for more than just the money because yeah. you know lecrae yeah. and andy they're the ones that are up there making because they built it It took them a long time to get there. top one you know percent bro top one yeah. percent so it's like if you go less do it, than that I, I want <clears> you to make a living off it but it's also like that can't be your main thing because you know that the world's not gravitating to it as much and if you don't want to only be in churches doing youth groups, you know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta grind. You gotta do it. Yeah. You gotta do it for God, essentially. You know what I'm and it's alright to have a job too. It's alright. Yeah. It's alright yeah. to rather have a job. You know? And it's alright to admit right. that you have a job. That's exactly. a, that's the thing right. that bothered me when I was in right. Atlanta. I know all these dudes and I know they all got jobs. <laughs> but you on Instagram making it look like you a full time rapper, like you're not, bro. Like you're right. selling false dreams. And then, and then the yeah, bring croissants in the work, bro. And then the it's horny. The music show that you got a job yeah. because they, you're not putting everything into the music. You, talk, you bro. talking about that old three Civic? Hey man, the music show that you got a job, man. The bars ain't hitting no more, man. That was my mm. main thing with C. When I say CHH is trash, Jonas, what I'm saying is like I feel like a lot of these cats can't really rap. Like, I feel you. Like you, they, hey, not, they not really Mal, putting words that's together Mal can rap. in a, in a like, <laughs> like, like, like and they'll a say something. I'm like, yo, that's the easiest way to say <laughs> yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? They not really trying to be creative 
Like you can yeah. be dope and honor God. You can do both. You well, let's pick. Well, go to uh, forever. Bro. Y'all three need to listen to that Bodega album because yeah, y'all yeah, sent it to me. Through, shoot that through they the rapping. Bodega. Everybody on there is rapping, and they got some of the current cats and old cats. They got Derek Miner, Swoop. Cause um, I ain't fooling with them one K few, bro. I ain't heard Jordan <laughs> mention one K few once. Listen, Jonas, <laughs> Jonas, <laughs> I can't listen to one K the same because of how y'all have destroyed that. Good, yeah, bro. Man, <laughs> good, because he he not there, bro. He we saying there. good. That's terrible. We discouraged. We happy he about this. He not there, this bro. He trash, bro. <laughs> One K is saying trash, man. But he trash. It's okay he to have standards for rappers. You know what I'm saying? Right, no, he's right, not, Mal. No, he, he ain't, Mal. I ain't doing. settling with that. No, the I ain't. School, like, I'm not like giving it to him, bro. Rap, all that, like, that's you what still got to write bro. something that's yeah, decent, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. His stuff is. His stuff Even is Migos bad. started changing their stuff. But yeah. Migos can actually rap, though. They actually got decent lyrics. Like, One K Few be just. He be freestyling, and I'm like, and it shows. You can tell. When you read the lyrics, you're like, okay, I don't know what you're saying. It's vibe. <laughs> it's vibe. It's just vibe. It's just vibe. That's all. That's the did. worst thing, bro. You and like, and don't got nothing that's gonna be like, man, God, I gotta come back. I'm right. coming back home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming back home tonight. His, his best pen was on that him and Lecrae project, and that project wasn't the greatest, but that was the best I think he's written. Is on that project. That's because Lecrae. You better. Right. You better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lecrae was like, "You sure?" That's like saying, "That's like saying 21 Savage best bars was with Drake." With but. Drake, yeah, it better. It better. Be. <laughs> hey, I listen to this is off subject. But I listen to 21 that because that 21 and Nas song is on the new Nas project. Y'all think oh, yeah. Drake is just writing everything for 21 now? Like, not even... <laughs> no, they, no, no, 21 no, is writing itself for Drake, too, They bro, writing together, bro. Bro, bro together. listen to that song with Nas. I'm like, this is Drake bars, bro. Drake wrote this. Like, <laughs> he, went to, he went to Drake like, yo, I'm going to feature with Nas. I can't come with no trash. Like, you got to write. You got to give me some fire. But now nah, let's let's get to bars yeah. though. We got like hold on, wait, wait. Before we do a kill, what, right, 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 right. what you be on? What you? Oh yeah, what you listen to? I am more into the R and B world. Okay, I came out. Out. I'm I'm out. Yeah. What today's hip hop? Nothing makes sense. People don't even speak English. <laughs> 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 so like right now, I'm listening to a lot of Sir. Um, okay, Sir is fire. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Sir is one of my favorite right now. Um, okay, he got anything new out? He dropped a song. Chasing Summer, bro. A song, I believe. Song. You saw him? <laughs> no, a song. Oh, a song. I was about to say, where you see him at? I know. Not I'm in Youngstown. I can't see nobody. I can barely uh, see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, like a lot of the female, Ella May, she, I believe she just dropped a project not too long ago. I like Ella May. Away. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I like Ella May a lot. I, I think can't her remember, got something like, coming out. Possibly. You like her? I can't remember. Yeah, I, I like her a lot. Her fire. I can't remember mm-hmm. like Who, uh, a lot of <laughs> underground artists that I listen to, but I'll have to like get a list and send it to you or something. Yeah. Listen to yeah. Soul. Today's music is just like, um, I've heard a couple projects, but I haven't like really dove into it. So. She she probably one of the most talented artists out. Like she she really be going. Like she she knows. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I gotta hear it on the playlist. I'm gotcha, I'm a big bro. Chris Brown fan too, so I. Hey, Chris Brown, Brown is gonna be the album. goat. The goat. Chris <laughs> Brown will be the goat when it's all said and done. I think he got an album <laughs> coming too. I think he does. He always got. He just dropped another single, and I already know what's going on the album. He got 40 <laughs> tracks coming. He got 40 songs. Listen, right. I think he no, said he's done with that. He said he's done with that. Yeah. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, he he but people that. don't really want that, so everybody yes, keeps asking no. for like the old him. And people don't understand that people evolve and the times change. So, you know, he always fire. Did y'all hear the when you're when you're so me? fire? It's 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 hard to like keep Get that better. longevity. Yeah, like yeah. how do you evolve from that? You started off right. You always as a fire. Goat, yeah. Like, yeah. He, so he put what do you do? Chris Brown different. He put a song that like on on the deluxe that I think any other artist would put on their main album. It's called Luckiest Man. That need to be, mm-hmm. that's like, why Luckiest is that your Man's deluxe? Hard, why is that your deluxe? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's single. That song is a lead single. That's right out the gate, bro. Like like the, the, the deluxe, the, the deluxe didn't make sense because he literally put all the songs and then like added two of them. Then he I'm added like, what is two this? or three. I'm like, yo, these should have been like, what was the song? <laughs> that's what everybody's doing. Burn the Boy, don't put that one on there. Put the swap. That's the streaming sheet, Cole. Hey, Mouth, Mouth. I know you heard the new Travis with your boy on it, though. I know you heard it, bro. Travis Scott? No, I didn't even know he dropped, bro. Bro, your favorite Travis artist. Travis dropped the album? With him, bro. 
no, no. Lil Wayne is on the song with Travis. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Travis is fucking crazy. I'm talking about the Puerto Rican Benny, bro. I'm talking about the Puerto Rican Benny. Oh, the goat. Oh, bad buddy. Travis Scott talking Spanish. No, he's not. He's not. It's fire. It's fire. Bad bunny oh, is fire. All right, all right. It's fire. Bad bunny, that goat. I've been trying to tell y'all, man. If bad, bad bunny, bunny is, man, I gotta see what he's saying, though. I, need, I don't know what I he's saying, but it sounds fire, fire though. Cause bad he's bunny, man, I done heard what he be dabbing in there. I need to know what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't know this turn at all. <laughs> I be skipping certain songs. Like I that. wanted to get into that too about the whole Travis Scott situation, but we'll get. He got an album coming. Utopia is coming soon. I feel yeah, like and we don't got to get in on this because I want to get into bars before because I know Jonas got to get back to work and stuff. But um, I feel I'm going to say this statement and then we can talk about it another time. I feel like Travis Scott should be mentioned with the greatest rap with artists. The I don't think it's fair that he's not, bro. Like, he hasn't yeah, dropped bro. a bad yeah, ever. Bro. <laughs> greatest performers ever. He's, he's a, he, sells, he sells a crazy amount of records just like they do. He don't really. He puts out quality music every time, just like they do. I just don't understand why. Like, hey, he don't rap. I'm here for it, bro. Well. Yeah, he's not a rapper. Maybe that's it. But let's get the bars rap. though. Let's get the he bars. Speaking rap. of rap, man, I know Mal got yeah, some bars some for bars. you. Do y'all know our scale, Jonas and Raquel yeah, and Dante. Y'all know okay, our scale. Okay, so I know this. I know the people on the scale. I just don't know how it goes. Right. Andre is A. Eshawn okay. Burgundy is B. C is Snoop. D is Soldier Boy. I literally thought that earlier. And F is Nick Cannon. F is Nick Cannon. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, Nick Cannon boy. All right, so give I it to me. I know Mark got some heat for the hundred though. Mark got the heat for the hundred. Of course. Hey Jonas, did you bring some CHH bars? I hope you did. <laughs> I got some, I got some of Jonas don't. I got some CHH bars if Jonas don't. All right, bet, bet. Um, You want me to go first, Mark, or you want to yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, because my phone went that crazy. All right. <clears throat> Let me let me bring it up though. All right, <clears throat> I ain't gonna tell y'all who it is. He said, "All right, he said a lot on my mind. Really, I got a lot on my mind. This industry is Sodom at times, or more Gomorrah. I'm looking back and salty when guys lower support when I promote when I promote God in my rhymes." That's swoop. <laughs> How you know? That's already swoop talk. That's, that's, like swoop talk. that's swoop talk, bro. That's swoop talk. <laughs> mm. Hey, say it one more time for it. We gotta get Jonas right. back in here too. He I'm might be at work, though. He said. Okay. He said a lot on my mind. Really, I got a lot on my mind. Oh, my. He's talking about like lot yeah. in the Bible. Yeah. This industry like Sodom at times. So I take that as like, yeah. you know, a lot went to Sodom to try to like, you know, on God like. So, you know, represent them on God's mm-hmm. behalf and try to save the city is like Swoop kind of did that in the industry. And he said, or Gamora, which is, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm looking back and salty when guys lower support because I promote God in my rhymes. You know, Lot's wife looked back when they were leaving the mm-hmm. city and turned into a pillar of salt. But he like, I left the game and now I'm looking mm-hmm. back and I'm salty. I know where I'm at with it. I know where I'm at yeah, with I, it. I thought that Especially was. Especially if you listen to the to what Swoop been <clears throat> on lately, yeah. That's hard. That's hard, though. Where you at, Mal? Where you at with him, Mal? I'm gonna give it's it Eshawn. It's your man Eshan. too. Eshawn level, B level. I knew Mal was going to be. Yeah. I felt because I heard him do better, but that's some of his like with the content. Swoop be like his is. Yeah, that was a pretty good. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll give it Andre. Andre. Okay. 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 He has some good punchlines. What you think, bro? Man, I feel like I'm not the most competent hey, judge. It don't this. matter, bro. <laughs> 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 here. And my music spectrum is so wide. I was just talking to Olivia about this today, but I'll give it Eshawn. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay, Definitely not Jay. Soldier Boy, I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, never. <laughs> never, ever. <laughs> I don't think we need to go back to that era. <laughs> yeah, ever. Hey, y'all can't just. No, 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 no. We can't man. do something nah, like that. Soldier, nah. to... Soldier had a oh, moment. No, we can do him like that. Nah. He, had <laughs> he had a moment. He had a moment. He had a moment. Hey, hey, I realized how big Soldier Moon was when I watched the BT Awards. Dennis, this I'm, moment was huge, bro. I'm glad it was a moment, though. I'm glad <laughs> yeah. it wasn't like the era. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm thankful for that moment, but we don't need to ever recreate that. So. No, we don't. All right. So we got Ishan, Andre, Ishan. Where y'all at? Dennis and Carmen. I got um, 
I'm trying to get Jonas back on. I think his connection might be bad. You should get that Google Fiber. Um, <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm conflicted, bro. Ah, I got to I'm going with Ishan. Ishan? Okay. I feel like if I got to think about it that long, and I got to go with Ishan. All right. Dennis? You can uh, get tied up. Yeah, man, I'm Eshawn with it, man. It was, it's hard, it's hard, but like like Monk said, swoop and swoop a little bit different with the pen, but that's hard though. Yeah, bro. yeah. I go Eshawn there. Yeah. All right, Eshawn. Oh, should I play it? Is it gonna cut us off if I play it? Hey, man, play it, man. No, no, no. What if they just shut it. us down? Though. Don't play it, bro. Don't play it. It might let us play the Eshawn. Eshawn ain't like like. Push down like the gas. I accelerate. All right, stop, 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 Three seconds. Three seconds. Lavelle is in the waiting room. Lavelle, we're gonna we gonna get you on in like two minutes, bro. Yeah, we can hear Talking about sports in a minute. Uh, actually, let's bring Lavelle on now. We, you could join Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Bring him on. Bring him on. We oh, it's limited to six. Quick, it's limited to six. So, oh, okay. All right. Hey, yeah, I'm, about, I'm about to go. I got to get back to work, y'all. Oh, you but, good, uh, bro. Right. It's episode 100, right? Yeah, 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 man. All right, so congratulations, y'all. Um, yeah. Y'all be helping me get through my day whenever I listen in. I appreciate, you know, you guys are all fathers. You're married. And it's always inspiring to see and so keep doing what y'all doing. Thank you for having me on. Sorry I got cut off. I got oh, a phone good, call man. messing y'all up. Oh, you no good, problem, man. man. We, we appreciate, appreciate you, man. Thank, Thank you, bro. We appreciate they you. They want to listen to right there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, y'all. All right, Thank Donald. You, bro. Peace. Peace. All right, let me get Lavelle in here. Man. Vel. Hey. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> What's up, fellas? Just went from one, one CHH voucher to the next, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, we just talking about how trash your man was, bro. We just Ooh. was talking about it. Fuel, bro. I actually think it's getting worse. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> you on the same page, then. <laughs> 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 I wasn't expecting him to say that. I wasn't either. When he first got into the game, I'm like, oh, he going to be a little different. Yeah, then he was he different. Getting, he was getting mediocre. He kept getting mediocre over the time. I'm like, uh, okay, like you, to the point where I thought, I think, uh, what up, RG and Hovey? I think they're better now. Yeah, hey. I like Hovey. I like both of them musically. They they really good. Yeah, yeah. Hovey don't be. They don't really come with the bars, but they got don't. like good music. But few don't either. So few just <laughs> real. He, I, he actually funny. Like, if you ever watch his little things, his little skits he do on Sundays, like, he actually yeah. seems like he's a clown. They yeah. all, his whole crew is a bunch of goofy dudes, bro. They they <laughs> all funny. But yeah, man, shout out to Vel, man. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Number yeah, man, shout out to Vel. Number Listen, 100. no, I thank y'all. We're in the middle of, uh, <clears throat> in the middle of doing Wake Up Bars. Yeah, give us one, Mom. Give us one more before we get off the music. Give us some bars and then we're going to move on. Before we get off the music, all right, so this fellow said, like the block captain and Big Eric on the same song, it's too easy. I promise I'm going to do this beat too greasy. Used to want acceptance for my wordplay and lyricism. Now I judge my songs on if my kids feel them. Mm. All right. That's a battle rap bar, clearly. So easy the block captain. He's talking about easy the block captain and easy e. Is that what he said when he yeah. said too easy? Yeah, okay, too that was easy. A, I like that mm. bar. Yeah, yeah. Is that bro, is, is that easy? That's nah, easy bar. He, nah, he must be going. Okay, 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 well, okay. run it back one time because I ain't really. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really catch all of it. Like the block captain and Big Eric on the same song. It's too easy. I promise I'm gonna do this beat too greasy. You still want acceptance on my wordplay and my lyricism. Now my songs and if my kids fill them. Now, just, part, now, now part, I judge my songs. <laughs> now I judge my songs on if my kids fill them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna start with Vel. Vel, where you at with it, man? You know the scale, right, Vel? You know the scale. I don't. Give me, give me. It's been a while. All right. So A is Andre three thousand. Yeah. B Eshawn Burgundy. C is Snoop Level. D is uh, Soldier Boy. F is uh, Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go C. All right, Snoop. All Snoop right. level, okay. Carlin, what are you thinking, Carlin? I'm going, I'm going Snoop. Snoop, Snoop too. Okay. 
I'm trying to, try to do it. Raquel, where you at with it? It's giving so... I'm joking. We're gonna... <laughs> 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 I'll say Snoop too. Okay, okay. Dang. Dennis? Dennis? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm like, wait. I'm like, wait, with Raquel off the... Uh... <laughs> Drake, off the Draco. <laughs> nah, Draco. Draco, yeah, man, I'm going Draco. Ooh, that's crazy. Okay. Where you at, Yans? Well, we hold battle rap to a different standard. If this was like over a beat, I would give it like I might give it Ishan or Snoop if it was over a beat. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna probably go. I didn't think it was that bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Snoop though. It wasn't better Snoop, than Snoop. All right. Yeah. Okay. Don, what you got? Last one. Yeah, Don, what you got? Well, uh, I'm I'm just gonna give it Eshawn because <laughs> it's better than anything I can come up with. <laughs> and I don't know rap that well. So I'm just like, man. I only really heard yeah, one. Man. I only really heard one bar in there that like really was like a that really hit hard. And that was the two easy. Out the bar. gate, yeah. If, unless I'm yeah. missing something, am I, am I missing something? I think no, I'm you missing something. Like, you ain't oh, missing. Right. It was a super. I do movie. like. I mean, it makes sense what he's saying. I judge my songs off if my kids feel them, which I think that's kind of dumb. Who was that? Kids be like Maybe that would change it. Who was it though? That was, <laughs> that, was, that was me, bro. Over a track I was writing. Oh, it ain't battle bars. Oh. See, that's oh, different. I thought those are battle rappers. <laughs> And he said that's Draco. Different, they said they call me soldier. Yeah, oh, they me no, no, <laughs> they I thought that was rap. I thought it was a battle rap bar. Well, if we if we <laughs> judging battle I battle mean, rap is judged on a different scale. No, nah, that like, was that, a, yeah. that was just writing the song. I didn't yeah, know if you over a beat, it was it's different. Battle rap or if it was over a beat, that's just yeah. how I felt about it. I thought it was well, a battle Mal- rap bar. I was like, that's a weak battle rap. Malcolm, I don't know how much this means, man. You could take this with a grain of salt, but it's definitely more sophisticated than Soldier Boy. <laughs> it's a little more complex than that. Hey, man, so, I'm sorry, bro. I no, thought it was bad. You know, I'm holding battle rap nah, to a whole dude, different... We gotta right. hold the integrity of the pod, though, bro. We yeah, gotta give it Snoop. That's why I did it that way. We gotta give it Snoop. Should I play a second of it? This one yeah, might be cut. Two seconds, two if seconds, it's Snoop, we definitely. All right, we <laughs> good, we good. <laughs> Facebook we don't good. cut us off. We good. Um, hey, you see how they did me, stuff, Jonas? Though, <laughs> you see how they did me, Jonas? <laughs> hey, you ain't gonna listen back to it. You gonna listen back to it? I got a bar I've been wanting to give y'all, but I'm gonna wait though. I don't want to do it right now. Nah, bro. It's the hey, Mo, I thought you were about to kick Mo. I swear, Mo. I just knew you was coming with the K Sean bars, bro. I just Ooh, knew you I was coming with the K. I could have. Hey, I thought that, for sure that was battle rap bars. That was nah, crazy. K Sean was going crazy. They all was really spitting. He said, I could make a hit without a beat, without a sound. I'm like, Beethoven? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah. Battle rappers be they on a different level. Well, shoot, man. This man, Raquel, be, man. Yeah, Thank you for joining up, us, Raquel. man. Anything you want to <laughs> say? Um, I do. I just uh, want to say, like, I appreciate the brotherhood that you guys have formed and kept together that I've been oh. able to watch. Throughout yeah, the you years. witness it from day one. <laughs> You've been there for oh, sure. Right. <laughs> I have Literally. memories with all of yeah. you. Some good, some bad. Because you know, cut the water up. <laughs> Carlin, <laughs> listen. When I seen that episode and Carlin said that, it made me so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was like, out of all things, this is the one thing you remember about me? Just cemented in my mind. (laughs) But no, I appreciate you guys giving us content when you can give us content. Um, It's always something I look forward to. And congratulations to your 100th episode. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, you guys have a great one. All right, appreciate you. Yeah. All right, man. Let's get into sports, man. Let's get I'm into sports. Wait for this one. Man. Yeah, I know. All right, so you kick it off. You got sound like you got something you want to talk about. Hey, man. Hold on. I, did I say I had something to talk about sports? You just sound like you do. You just say you've been waiting for. Nah, it, I just you. been waiting for my man Bell to join us for some sports. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know it could go left at any moment, though. It could. <laughs> yes, it could. Nah, but Bill, man. Um, thank you for coming, Dante. Thank you for coming, man. We got y'all long oh, for yeah. the. For the for the hundred episode, man, we brought y'all on for sports because every time we talk with y'all about sports, it's a great sports take. So, you know, let's get into it, man. First thing I'm gonna say, man, Lakers in five. That's all I'm gonna say. Right out the gate. <laughs> right out the gate. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sounds super ambitious, but hey. Hey, hey really? I mean, Palinka kind of bodied the offseason, bro. He did. He did. I, I was impressed. Yeah, he did good. I, I ain't mad it. at it. It's one more, it's one more piece they need. They need, they need AD <laughs> needs to play the four. He don't need to play center no more. If AD play the four, it's scary. Out. And we need a real center then. Like, we need like, to we can't get anything. Uh, we can't yeah. get anything. Then it's like, we got to give up. <laughs> nah, nah, I oh see some crazy on, on YouTube. Even like, the JaVel no McGee, like. somebody like that. I know that yeah, sounds funny. I, yeah. But I think help. people people sleep on centers that are immovable and take up space. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> right. like Zubots yeah. from Clippers and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even um the one dude from the Suns, he just got signed by another team. Um, he was uh, a substitute for DeAndre Ayton. Played, he played for the Rockets. He came in and did a nice job on Joe. Yeah, because Ayton was trash. Yeah. Ayton is um, trash. I don't know why so, we don't bring D12 back. Like, what's the problem? Yeah, the way hey, like, he out there, back. bro. He's shooting fadeaway threes and everything now. He's a guy. 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 He's the basketball god and scoring 60 <laughs> points a game in Taiwan. Going crazy. Triple As a retired NBA doubles. player, though. Yeah. As a retired NBA player, though. Come he back. actually said he want to come back to the Lakers. The Lakers are actually looking at Christian Wood, which is not a bad fit. Uh, Christian he's like for the Mavericks, right? Yeah. He's, like, he's like a poor man AD, but it's like <laughs> 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 it, it's kind of to the point now. The the favorites right now is probably the Nuggets again because like the way they play, Joker can shoot the three or play inside. So if your five man can't do both, like he kind of gonna have his it's, way with. It's you know, tough. Yeah, it's, it's kind of rough. I agree. I think and I think they next they they got the upper hand. Still. I think the beautiful yeah. the beautiful aspect about Joker's game too is he knows when to facilitate and he yes. knows when he needs to initiate. Smart you know what I mean? So, so like there were times during the finals where he needed to be more of a passer. He needed to get his teammates going, mm-hmm. and he knows when to do that. And then there were times in the third quarter, fourth quarter, where his teammates were having issues scoring. So, so he, he took it upon himself to be that scorer 100%. and just. He knows how to read the flow of a game, and he does both at a high level. Right. The highest right. level. Passes at MVP. the highest level. Yeah. He can score at the highest yeah. level. Like, yeah, that's, but you got to have the yeah. ability to do that. You do. And I don't think it's a lot of mm-hmm. like centers that have the ability yeah. to do that. Heck, no. he, right. Only him right now. And, and, and the IQ to know when to do right. what. There's, mm-hmm. a, uh, there's a big conversation going on nowadays in the basketball world, too. I love listening to J.J. Redick on Old Man and Three. Mm-hmm. Um, I even listen to Draymond Green's um, podcast sometimes and Paul George's. Uh, but there's a lot of people that are preferring basketball players with a high IQ rather yep. than super talented and athletic basketball players, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. The Joker is not the all-star mm-hmm. game. Right. I mean, it's right. But he, he, gonna get a, he got a chip at, now, though. Look at Austin Reeves, too. Yeah. On the Lakers, yeah. I mean, look how he came alive yeah. in the playoffs, he and crazy. he was just a straight gamer. He looked like the third best option on that team. You know yeah. what I mean? He was. D'Angelo yeah. Russell was non-existent for the majority of the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you just have these guys that play at an extremely high level, but they're also it's like their mental capacity and processing the game is so well, like in those moments and times where it's like it's almost like a superpower in a sense. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Rather than someone who's <clears throat> trying to force things to happen and and you know kind of establish their own uh yeah, like style, style of play in the game so if you like actually Russell, got, if you watch it uh in the final <laughs> not even just the final <laughs> conference finals mm-hmm. the nuggets kept running the same set that nobody can stop mm-hmm. and we kind of nobody. put the, it put nobody. joker at the top of the three-point the line at the yeah. screen yeah. and it right. would kind of be hard to defend it yeah. so it's like and then you put the right players in the mm-hmm. pick and roll you, you kind of get in trouble every single time so like the IQ. most basic, the most yeah. basic basketball yeah. plays right. really I can't be that. stopped if they're done right and yeah. effectively. You know what I mean? They ain't Nuggets show that. Either. I don't think they it, lost. It, it lost Bruce Brown, Bruce Brown. That's and Jeff Green. Bruce Brown. We try yeah. to get Bruce Brown. Factors. We should have picked him up. Those two factors. Yeah. I ain't gonna say they ain't taking no L because that's a tough mm-hmm. L. They are. Bruce yeah. Brown look like a superstar in the, mm-hmm. in the final. Bruce gonna do pretty well the, at the Pacers. I think Jeff Green will do good at the yeah. Rockets too. That, I think the Rockets is a team to look out for next season. Like they. They got a good mixture of vets and, and young players on their team. And E May, I ain't gonna lie, he's a good coach, but he just got yeah, off the court is a little sketchy, but <laughs> man, everybody's yeah. sketchy yeah. off the court. Sketchy, yeah. Yeah. sketchy might be of under course, he's Bron Nation. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. I, I'm yeah. I'm Bron Nation, well, so I'm Laker Nation, yeah. One of the big things they were saying about Houston too is they lack the presence of veterans in that yeah. group. They just they just kind of 
didn't know how to organize mm-hmm. all the players' games on that on that team. So now mm-hmm. you got Dylan Brooks. Um, which Fred, he, man, get he, Dylan Brooks out of here, man. Hopefully he's a little more humble because <laughs> he's he's great defensively, but, yeah. you know, and they got Fred Van Vliet, like you said. That's a, that was a great pickup. Nice, that was the one. Compliment. That was the pickup. Yeah. Right? It was a great pickup. I just think he got paid too much. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Everybody Van Vliet got paid too much. I yeah, that's just the, that's just the market mad. nowadays. It's the market, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the, the market. market nowadays. If it's a free agent and you want him, you kind of gotta go get him. It's like yeah. it's yeah. like you playing you spades and you want to win up. this book. Yeah. I'm a, I gotta throw out, yeah. throw, throw out, throw out the big joker oh, to give the guarantee. Big joker, yeah. Go get it, man. Yeah. Vel yeah. knows all about that. Yeah, Vel knows all about that. Hey, Mal, could you ask those two who won it last I got this last time. I got this last time. <laughs> Me and Dennis went blind six, eight hands Mo, in a row. Hey, Mo, 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 we like 30 and seven. Mo. We like 30 and seven. I'll mm-hmm. take that. I'll take that. <laughs> they, they got a couple couple games up on us. I got you. Yeah, we hey, how still, y'all feel like... about uh the, the, the rookie phenom? Because from what I've seen in the summer league, this is what I've seen. This is what I've seen. I've seen greatness, <laughs> but... These two big men is gonna give him a problem because he's too weak, bro. Everybody's getting dunked on now. Everybody's getting dunked on, and I'm like, MB or Jokic or AD with with the young boy, they gonna be throwing him around. Like he <laughs> might get hurt. He might what, get hurt. What That's what I'm worried about is him getting hurt. That's the thing, huh? Bell. He yeah. don't he don't play the post, bro. Yeah, he yeah, plays like, like a guard. you ain't you ain't getting them cats out. Like he yeah. could dribble, he could shoot, he could pat. Like he's I'm worried about him getting hurt. I'm with you on that. But. Cause just like Chet Holmgren. Chet Holmgren ran into a real mm-hmm. grown man in the Drew League <laughs> and LeBron James yeah. and had to sit out for a whole season. That point is like, the same. They're both weak and they need to get stronger. But skill-wise, he's yeah. far above Chet to me. And Chet, yeah, Chet, yeah. Chet looked really good in the he Chet looked league good this year. Looked good yeah, but he, went, I mean, he was blocking everything. You could he tell he went to go get right well. because and that's a he team ran into I was a saying. grown man. I think... Right. <laughs> I think that Thunder could be really good in the future if they keep that core together. Um, you know, you know how you said I this can though. go left? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a mm-hmm. huge Victor fan. I'm with you. Mm-hmm. Um, and my boys, they asked me, like, Vel, what's, what's the ceiling? Bear with me. At the, this oh, very moment. Oh, oh, this is what I want. We don't have it. This is what I want. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. He Let's gives go. me Rudy Gobert, Rudy Gobert vibe sometimes. Like Ooh, you just out there just, just blocking shots. And I'm mad at that. I'm just, mad at that because he's way that. more skilled, bro. Skilled. We haven't I'm seen we haven't seen yeah. a cat that's seven foot plus yeah. with that type of skill level. Maybe Durant, but I'm talking about Durant ain't seven six though. That's what thing I get him. Height, you, can't block, you can't block. You can't block his dude. shot, bro. Like you can't. You can't really block yeah. his shot. So I think. I think he. I think at that height though, he has to pick a position. Because he's not, he's t- he's too weak, he's too weak. If you if y'all ever watch me with the handle, the ball mm-hmm. can get away from him at any moment. Cause yeah. he's not he not super coordinated. His feet too big, like he's not proportioned well enough to to go against MB or yeah. or like like I feel like I feel like Jokic is gonna give that man fifty and thirty. But he ain't got to deal with them like. Like six games, you know what I'm saying? He gonna, he could, he could kick, he could kill everybody else though. It's but like, I he tell you the Jokers. But 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 he got to see them Lakers, bro. They the, the Lakers are must want to put LeBron on him just because he a perimeter dude. It's tough out there. The, the thing I would you give come, him, the thing I would give him though, though, if he surpassed Rudy Gobert in my mind, I won't be surprised because he has pop. Pop's going to develop him really well. Yeah, yeah. Pop, pop, pop is the pop one is thing that's going. Is the He's in the perfect right. in the perfect system perfect and the perfect system, coach. Bro. Yeah, and. I think it, the key to his success offensively is if he can really develop his shot. Yeah. If yeah. he can shoot it, bro, we've Nobody never seen that. anything yeah. like that. He's going to be unstoppable. Three years. I mean, I give, that's if good, he that's, can I shoot it, three years. I'm with you. I'm yeah. giving him three think, years, bro. Yeah. I think, I think he is going to be good, but his, I mean, with the stature that he's at, in the game that he has, we've never seen that before. So yeah, it's gonna, right. it is gonna take that three year trial to see what he becomes. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And it's gonna be a learning curve, like you said, Dennis, because this is the most physical basketball league in the world. You know what I mean? Um, I do think he will be a rim protector. Like he's seven six. Mm-hmm. He might not be able to defend very well in the post, like you were saying, Dennis, against big bodies. Yeah. But weak side defense, yeah, that's he's oh, gonna yeah. alter shots. Yeah. 
Oh, and that's what you need oh, in the dude. playoffs. Like, when you think about it, a big trend that these teams are going to in the playoffs is they want long guys that can play both ways because they're so uh, – they can alter people's shots. They can alter shooting nights. And I think that's one thing that the Cavs struggle with. We have two guards that are under 6'4", you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So when you're defending and you're going against a guy that's 6'6", six, six, and he's contesting your shots, that's automatically going to make you feel uncomfortable. For sure. Um, yeah. So I think he'll be able to do that, but on-ball defense – might be a challenge for him because his footwork isn't very quick. Yeah, but, yeah. I don't know if he'll be able to stay in front of people and things like that, but automatically with that length, yeah, he's so he's long. Gonna he just he covers ground. That's and the if thing. he can he shoot, so much he don't got to be that yeah. quick because if just, he can shoot, nobody can t- contest his shot. <laughs> just nobody. How yeah. tall he is. Yeah. So we'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm giving him, I'm, I'm giving him three years, man. I'm giving him three years because yeah. I think I, I see his potential. He mm-hmm. got the right system. Yeah. I mean, not the right system, but the right mm-hmm. organization. Yeah. Um, yeah. I Most just definitely. I just feel like it's gonna be tough this year and next year until he gets some weight and he figure out his coordination because the NBA moves too fast. Yeah, I could agree. I'm with watching that. him. I'm watching him like run up the court with the G with the G leaguers. Let's just call mm-hmm. them the G leaguers in the in the um, in the summer league. And you know he the first game was a little bit of a struggle. He's trying to find his way, mm-hmm. but I'm like, man, this ain't even. You ain't he ain't running up and down the court with KD or mm-hmm. or D Book or LeBron or Giannis Co- like Gian- uh, imagine uh, what Kawhi. Giannis is gonna do to yeah. this to this young man weighing 150 pounds at seven six. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kawhi might get up in him like and cause him fits, especially Kawhi. And if they pull Kawhi him out to the perimeter, teams. whoever pull him, if they they gonna have to run zone with him. If they pull him out to the perimeter, they gonna cook him. And they gonna yeah. go. And he might get the chase down, but man, we talking about John Morant coming off the pick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's going. It's a little bit different with the NBA speed, and I think he got the potential to be one of the best. It's just gonna take a little time, like, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? It ain't For gonna sure. be no Zion Williamson. It ain't gonna be like Zion, where Zion to me came right out the gate. He just be hurt. Yeah. But I think if this his, kid yeah. get hurt, it could Zion's, be it could be detrimental yeah. for his career if he get the wrong injury, like Greg Oden type time. Zion's yeah. dominance was felt ex- as soon as he came to the NBA. Yeah. His dominance was felt. Right. Yeah. So I see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I think I think he's gonna be good, man. I just I think, think he's overhyped, though. I mean, they. I, do I don't like. I, don't, I really don't like the pressure they're putting on him. Mm-hmm. I hate the always oh, the most anticipated since LeBron and all this. Mm-hmm. I'm like, give the kid a chance, nah, like that. Bro. That sets him up for failure to me. That was for the sure. problem. That was the problem. They compared him yeah. to the greatest yeah, like, ever. Because LeBron like, is one of one, bro. Yeah, like, nobody's like LeBron. Bro, I don't that's, think these kids understand tough. how like how good LeBron was in high school. Like, do y'all Man. remember when LeBron was in high school? Yes. And he had games yes. at YSU yes. and yes. Akron. And, like, they couldn't yes. even play at their high school their high school gym because he was so anticipated. Like, this yeah. dude was, like, just, I've never, we were never going to probably see anything like that ever again and, to me. And, I mean, you got to look at it longevity-wise. Like, LeBron is in year, going on year 21, right? And he's still <coughs> average, his, like, statistically, like, his numbers are best <laughs> – Top yeah, 10 in the league, game. you know what I mean? Yeah, and when they, like, but even as a rookie, he was putting up great numbers, you know. In the second year, I think he made it to the all-star game. So he he dominated, like, his whole career. And I just don't know if Victor Wembe is as polished and developed as LeBron was coming out of high school, you know. I think he can get there, and mm-hmm. if anyone can do it, it's Popovich. Like, he has yeah, a great right. coach to work with. And he's, he's already, historically, he's already – Worked with those guys from Europe and stuff like that, so he yeah, knows yeah. their DNA. He knows their style yeah, that's of play. True. He has a style um, really, yeah. And those guys, actually, I think uh, Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili, those guys are all taking turns, kind of mentoring him and speaking into him. So that's he has a factor. great, he has a great supporting cast right now. Support that's system. Dope. That's dope. Hey, that yeah. might be that might be the that might be yeah, the determining like, fact. I mean, having those guys, you talking about? I don't you're know. Not talking about? Yeah. You're talking about fundamental like. Really fundamental players. Like I mean, this. LeBron took the Cavs to the playoffs year two. I don't know if Wembe could do that with the Spurs. You know what I mean? No, the West, no. The West is different than the East, but I don't know, don't know if do. they'll be a playoff the caliber team. team this year or next yeah, year. Probably not. You know, and things like that. But yeah, yeah. We'll the see. West got the chip, the mm-hmm. chip for probably the next two years to me. Next two years, the, the West got Boston the championship. Too. So it's gonna yeah, be tough. Yeah, Boston gonna do too. Man, get zip them up. Zip them nah, up. Hey, they got KP now. They kind of man, zip them up. That was a bro. weird. That was a weird deal hey, for me. Hey, hey, Bill, 
Huh? Zip them up, bro. Ain't nothing they mm-hmm. can do I in still, the West. Ain't nothing they can think, do though, with the West with that team. Boston, still. the issue with Boston is th- they don't have a yeah. good facilitator slash decision maker on that team. And that's why if I you think, right, they if stag- you watch them late in games, they lose games because of turnovers Yo, and so bad many. possessions on offense. And, and, and so many turnovers. defensively, they fall apart. I think oh, Chris okay. Chris Paul would have been a great pickup that's a, for that's them. A, yeah. Yo, you know man. what I mean? Or like a an established veteran, even a Rondo. Get a Rondo. You know what I mean? Something like that. Yo. A guy who has a veteran pre- presence, who knows how to deal with pressure situations and handle those, and can kind of help mentor those young guys. But Porzingis... It just didn't make sense to me. I always no. say they, they, they either, yeah. this is me, I'm with you, Dante. They, they either need a point guard or yeah. they need a big man. Because yeah. Jalen mm-hmm. Brown and Tatum, they don't do a good job of being good facilitators. No, they're not. Brown is going to break that not. up. Bro. Especially if put Tatum at the four. Yeah. Unless they and if y'all, if y'all watch it, too. Um, yeah. You say Tatum at the four? Yeah, they, they they trying to emulate Golden State. Mm-hmm. KP at the five, JT yeah. at the four. They still saying? need a they need a, like a main ball handler. They need yes. a point guard. Like, smart ain't really a point like, Marcus Smart because, wasn't really no, a point No, he guard. wasn't. And they don't have like they're no. kind of even though they're not really like new to the NBA anymore. They they they're kind of immature with the way they play. Oh, they Under are. pressure, they like you mm-hmm. said, they just start throwing turnovers left let's, and right. I'm like, bro, let's be honest. The game is on the line. Right. Like, throw a good pass. Like you know what In I mean. In Miami, like, like the the rosters just don't even compare like the roster of Miami compared to the roster of Boston. Right. But that that veteran pref- presence that mentality where it's just it doesn't matter whose night it is like we're just playing heat basketball and this is our culture if you, you know, go back and like look just, the, the scout report for mm-hmm. miami for on, on boston was when Jalen brown get the ball force him left yep the same thing as last year that's what golden state did last year yeah he, he can't dribble the ball with his left hand yeah. like turnovers he, he makes the same move all yeah. the time when he goes mm-hmm. left and then he comes back and then he he either he turns it over he loses the basketball yeah i'm thinking to myself i'm like most NBA players should be able to dribble with both hands, but now yes. that <laughs> when I seen, I'm like, oh, this That's is crazy. crazy. Like, and it's they, in the Coach Bell, Draymond, yeah. Draymond Green said that exact sentence in the press yeah. conference last year. Um, actually, in his podcast after they won the NBA Finals last year, he yeah. said, "I'm going to experiment. I'm going to try to make him go left, see what happens." And then he was like, "Oh shoot, he doesn't have a left hand," yeah. <laughs> and that changed <laughs> the entire series. So I agree with that. Although I love Jalen Brown, I think I'm a huge Jalen Brown fan. Yeah. And Tatum, I love Tatum too. Um, yeah, they just gotta. They they need some. They need veteran. They need. They need veteran team. presence. They kind of remind me of like Youngstown Christian after we graduated. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> they had a bunch of. They had some good athletes, but you go to the game and it's like they just turn the ball over. I'm just like you can't yeah. win like this, bro. Like you're not gonna win like and that. And their like, defensive breakdowns were really bad. Yeah. yeah Whereas almost times the guys were just spotting up wide open without contest, and it's like nobody's communicating, nobody's yeah. pointing, nobody's no moving. Yeah. And what happens is after the ball goes to the hoop, they just kind of sit there with their hands up and look at each other like, oh, whose guy was that? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, Bad this is the playoffs. Like, this is the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They really like, didn't have sex. Like, you pay attention, yeah. like, they kind of have like an open gym style basketball. Mm-hmm. Like, and that don't like, work yeah. in the playoffs. Agreed. Yeah, like the Warriors. That don't work in the playoffs. Agreed. The Warriors, mm-hmm. uh, the Nuggets. The Nuggets. They the have, teams like, who, sets. yeah. They have yeah. sets they well, that's. Like, I just said this, like, what was it, last right. week or whatever the last part was. Yeah. Like, people always talk about how good the Warriors team was because of their personnel. Nobody ever talks about the system that they ran. Like, yeah, and I, I do give credit to Steve Kerr. Like, yes, he had the, the players, but mm-hmm. look at what these guys were. He had... Steph Curry running around screens, off ball, Clay Tom, like you know what I mean? Like they're not just standing around, like you know what I mean? All right, here, give me the you you take the ball and go one on one, or like right. you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. you, that style of play will get you to the playoffs maybe if you have the good enough players, but you're not gonna go deep with that. Like you're no. not gonna, you're only gonna go so far. Yeah. LeBron saw that in Cleveland. Yeah, like that ain't gonna that right. ain't gonna fly. We're gonna get to the That's finals, it. but we ain't winning it. That's why it didn't work out <laughs> right. in Brooklyn too. <laughs> Even, even, um, oh gosh, what's his name? Uh, Harden and Kevin Durant were like, we need some type of structure System, to our yeah. offense. Yeah. We can't just go out there and just, and just play. your turn, my turn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that stuff doesn't work. Like that. Y'all remember playing against, yeah. like, well, Vell went to Ursuline, but y'all remember playing against, like, uh, well, Carlin might, I know Dante, well, like, playing against, like, Lowville and stuff like that, or, like, yeah. 
like Lake Center Christian, like mm-hmm. these dudes never had athletes, but yeah, bro, their 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 offense was so tiring to keep up with, like defensively. <laughs> there was so much movement. I'm chasing yeah. this cat around the screen. If I lose him for one second, he catching it and he strapping it. They not missing. Right. Like <laughs> they could all shoot, they could all pass, and yeah. they could dribble just good enough. To facilitate an yeah, offense, like, yeah, we person. we beat them, but it's like it was yeah, that was, was tough. Like imagine that with like mm-hmm. Steph Curry and Clay in them, right? Like, top athletes, yeah. You can't. It's, it's funny you say Lake Center because not this past season, but the season before last, we played them at, at Badger. And the girls, yeah, they got a girl. She ball six foot six one, and I was watching film out. Like, she could play a little bit. So coming to the game, the scout report was you know to focus on her. So. The game was tied up around 45-45, and they ended up winning 55-51. But I didn't notice, but the girl, she would catch it two feet off the three-point line. She would let it go. I'm like, let's go. Yeah. I, said, I said, hold on for a second. I said, so I called timeout because <laughs> if she's shooting that deep, like, it, it changed our dynamic of how we right. play defense. So yeah, it has to. <laughs> after the game they won, she ended up having, like, 27-28. God. She she was she's the all time leading scorer in the county. I'm like, oh, I see why wow. now. Like, I, like nice. so, Lake yeah. you're right, Lake Center. They have players that run plays and execute them to the T, mm-hmm. or they're gonna keep running into this play work yeah. because it's going. Yeah. It's, Those it's schools that, that right, if you get an actual player in that system, they're gonna Man. shine. Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. In because sure. it's like. Holy cow. I mean, that's. Like, I think that's why Kawhi Leonard developed so yeah. well. You know what I mean? He was mm-hmm. a great athlete, great player. But right. with Popovich and that system, mm-hmm. he's, excelled. He's you really only I mean? thrived in systems. And I that's think it. the L.A. Clippers have way too much freedom in their offense. They're, they're another team where it's like, who's, who's the facilitator on this team? Like, I don't know. Sometimes it looks like, okay, Paul... Paul George go get a bucket. Other times it's like, all right, let's get quiet touch because he hasn't touched the ball in a while. And then besides that, you're like, okay, what are they trying to accomplish with their offense? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's not a good. If you watch the game, it just looks very choppy. Yeah. It kind of looks like a Cleveland Browns like play calling uh, with Freddie <laughs> Kitchens. <laughs> you know what I mean? With Freddie <laughs> Kitchens. It's like, what are we trying to accomplish here? Um, but in basketball, I think your game plan cannot be scripted. Like, the great coaches make adjustments in the game, and they kind of follow the pace of the game, you know. So um, no, I, I get it. I do give props to Steve Kerr because I think he's very good at adjustments. Mm, very sure. Good. One of the best. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about football real quick, man. We got, like, got 10 to, minutes. To the Chiefs win it all. You think the Chiefs win it all again? <laughs> Bro, they're, like, I'm a Steelers fan, though. <laughs> I know. You but like, a Kansas City just, fan now, though. Your family inf- influenced you, bro. Know, bro. Your it's, wife's family. But it's hard, bro. But, like, what would you do? What would you yeah, do yeah. in my situation? They win the Super Bowl in the city you live in. I know. Right. And they're, and they're just gonna undeniably. A couple, times, a couple times. A couple yeah. times. They're just hey, undeniably. You have the most iconic quarterback in the NFL right now in the world. Bro, I was, I was talking to my wife about this. And Nadia, I don't know. Like, it's crazy that we were talking about football because – this is funny, but even she knows how good Pat Mahomes is just watching this cat. She's like, yo, he is amazing. Bro, I'm like, I bro, was... do, y- do y'all think he's the most not, – I'm not saying the best yet. Y'all think he's the most – one of the most skilled quarterbacks we've ever seen. Just one skilled. So, bro, I was just watching the Or the most. The or the most. I was going to mention that too. That's what we were That's watching. Pat show. Mahomes is different, bro. He That's is a great different. show. Bro, because like look, at, look at this, bro. He, he has everything. He can run. Yep. He has the he has the he has the men's like the smart IQ, mentality yeah. IQ and the refs. He, his his he arm is hands. and the refs. I know he got the refs. So he can throw the ball with both hands. His arm is undeniably accurate, and he he can throw it any type of way. Like I think and it might be too early to say. I mean, he got two grit, Super Bowls bro. already. He, he got he got what five Super Bowl appearances or four. Right, four, I think. Four, okay, right. so yeah. he's two and two. I you know, his presence remind me of his presence remind me of Steph. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. that he's like the he's Steph, Steph Curry of the NBA. He, he the just NFL. Steph because that's that. what my wife said when we was watching mm-hmm. quarterbacks. Tell him, Jonas. Like, what can like what can he do? <laughs> and I, I, I'm really mad at my Phillips <laughs> because Not, we were a pick away. He was number one in our draft board. He was number one in our draft board. We about to draft him. Like, oh, I didn't. They got Big Ben again. though. Y'all got Big Ben. You couldn't draft him. Man, listen. Ben can re- retire earlier. Go get him. Like, yeah. go get Pat Mahomes. Like, that was a mistake, yeah. It was definitely a mistake. 
So yeah. they got to do right by Ben, though. That's why you know what I'm saying. What number Pittsburgh did he go in the draft? Up, uh, when, he what did, did he go? Organization. 16, was it 16 or 17? Bro, for him to after go 16 Trubisky. is a freaking... No, that's after a, Trubisky. That's a steal, bro. That's a, that, I know they're shaking their head on that one. Kansas bro, City not, made off. Right, I, was, man, we got I would not... I would not... <laughs> I would not put... I would not draft Trubisky on my flag football team, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, just, I'm just being honest. God, I'm with you. Don, Don, he is that so cat awful. has not shown me anything since he's been to the NFL. That, it's crazy because I don't... The AFC is so loaded, and the NFC oh has gosh. nothing yeah. over there. Yeah, right. They just got like right. two teams over there. Yeah, I'm that's like, true. You yeah. got the Eagles, and then San, San Fran. Fran. And Aaron like, Rodgers is in the AFC now too. Yeah. Like With the Jets. Yeah. They brought yeah. up the top quarterback this year. <clears throat> Out of the ten quarterbacks they put, eight was AFC quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think I think I think the AFC North is the toughest division. The toughest division. Yeah. AFC North is the toughest I, division. I, I think it's. I think. Heck yeah, shit. bro. Yeah. It's tough. <laughs> Over who? I think the Unless the West. The West, whatever is trash, man. I'm going to be honest. You got <laughs> no, listen, yeah. listen, listen. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, it's, hey, Sean Payton there. You're going to see a different team, <laughs> We got team, the best cornerback in the game on our team. They got Patrick Sertan on there. I think, I think Russell Wilson turns the ready. corner. Y'all defense, y'all defense been all right, though. It's the offense that we need to see some. Right. From. We need people to Jared Judy was hurt. Javante Williams was hurt. Everybody was hurt last year. So... Uh, I, who, that's a tough division, division. The, the Chargers um, the, it's, it's the Raiders the Chargers the Raiders yeah, that's West. tough yeah. that's a solid I don't know if the Raiders, Raiders, I don't know if the Raiders better than anybody in the AFC North though. I was thinking that though, yeah, when I was thinking that so either AFC, AFC North, North you got three teams AFC that could North potentially make is. the playoffs man I was just thinking and one that could potentially make the Super Bowl y'all don't feel what y'all think about y'all don't think that um that Eagles and Cowboys division tough oh yeah not tougher than either one. Not, Isn't not tougher it Eagles, than the Cowboys? Cowboys. Oh, no, they got the, um, yeah, they got the Giants. Because the North, Reds. any one of the teams I Come feel in. can win in North, like, if we're yeah. being honest. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Pittsburgh won. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how. Pittsburgh, I think Pittsburgh could be a sleeper this year, Mal. I do, too. I think we pick are, it, we are, pick we it. We are. Talk that talk. Here, here's the talk thing. Talk that talk, Don. Pittsburgh started out terrible mm-hmm. last year. By the end of the year, you're like, yep. holy cow, they're like a borderline that wild card team. great, bro. And pick it really developed over the year. I'm excited. They said Cowherd. I'm right. excited to see what he could become. This is a wild statement to me. But Cowherd said the Steelers are a top five roster in the NFL. I said that's a boast. I don't think I don't think yeah. we're top five. Hey, bro, that. listen. <laughs> yeah. Them additions, the Patrick Peterson coming to the Steelers, bro. Watch how that's about to change, bro. Everything. That's, that's just better than present. That's better than present. That, that, that affects right. the whole secondary. That's a well, body. That affects everything. Here's the thing, too. Here's He's the thing a locker too, room Dennis, guy, too. It's like the thing about football is there is no um, – it's not like basketball and soccer where it's all – the offense and defense work together. You have to be able to play both. You have to play complementary football you in the NFL. To. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And I think, like you said, Dennis, having those defensive additions to your roster – could help enable you to do that. Last year, the Browns looked terrible because they the defense and offense were never in sync. You know what I mean? Yeah. In one game, it's like, okay, the defense is playing great. Offense is struggling. The next to the offense and is playing great. The media defense is struggling. Into it with the Deshaun and, Watson thing. Yeah, yeah and we lost three games because our secondary was oh, way yeah. too overcomplicated, so they just blew coverage. Like, at the last minute of the game, they just blew coverage. Um, Could have lost to the Panthers too. They just y'all was hurt dropped too, the pass. Dude. Yeah, I had a lot. Of, um, I had a lot of defense. And it's the Browns, too, right? Too, I think it is our, the Browns. <laughs> but our DC though, <laughs> Joe <laughs> Woods. They were saying Joe Woods because I was listening to a podcast from the Browns the other day. It's called Orange and Brown. But they were saying Joe Woods' defense was so complicated. These guys weren't. A- it wasn't able to free them up to play the way they know how to play. They're back there yeah. trying to think and process through stuff before the balls even yeah. snap, and they're making mistakes because they're just trying to think. Yeah. As they play, coverage, get, yeah, and they're saying, play man, they got man. Well, that's what they said. Our new defensive coordinator, he said they're going to go a lot of man, and they're going to put pressure on quarterbacks. Bro, you got Denzel Ward, bro. Denzel Ward can play Garrett, man. And you got Miles Garrett coming. Out you got Miles Garrett coming. And, out and, Garrett come and out now we got Zadarius Smith too coming off. That's crazy. Let, that's let that's Miles crazy. Garrett put some more quarterbacks in his quarterback graveyard. You know what I mean? Like give him the freedom. And Greedy Williams is a one-on-one corner. Yeah, Greedy Williams, man to man, is kind of locked now. Like it ain't. And they were saying Del Pitt's a better like strong safety. He's good for run support. He could hit. Yeah, he wants yeah. to hit. You know so what I mean? So who y'all got in the north? We picked up like, Thornhill too. Jordan Thornhill, Thornhill, Thornhill from the best in the north. Too. Yeah, I got I got Baltimore in the north. 
the I'm North going, I'm AFC going, North? AFC North, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got Baltimore in the North. I, I'm going to still. I, I got uh, us next year. I got us next year. The reason I say real. I got us because nobody really ever dominates us. But this is my thing. This is that's where I true, think we got to. Wait, y'all just count out Cincinnati that easy? Know, that, Cincinnati. No, I'm, I'm not counting Cincinnati, Cincinnati out. I'm not counting Cincinnati I'm, out. Cincinnati I'm, hasn't proven anything. What do you mean? The they last got, two years they, they won the division, right? Bro, they won the division. You ain't winning no bowl. Or we, we but you, he, asked who, the he asked who going to win the North, though. I'm, I'm saying Baltimore. I mean, I'm saying Baltimore. Baltimore is, is was literally a wide receiver and Lamar Jackson injury away. If anybody hasn't proven anything, it's Baltimore, though. They, and that's the, and where, the Browns. But, bro, you're not going to be able to prove nothing without your star quarterback. That's what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to be injury prone. You're going to be just like the 49ers. You're going to end up like the 49ers. You're going to have the roster. Without your quarterback, you're going to get tough. If he if he stays healthy, I'm with you. He is injury prone though. It's, I it's think hard with to... them adding, I think with the uh, oh, Ravens adding OBJ, bro, that's that's gonna be magnificent. They got the running game. The running game has never been in question. They got the defense. They defense. Marlon Humphreys and them is out there. They got Romando. Uh, and that, uh, what's it? What's buddy name from um from um. The Bears, uh, oh, Rockwell Smith, Roquan Roquan Smith. Smith. Yeah, he bro, nice, they still he got nice. um, Patrick McQueen, bro. Patrick yeah, no, they got a squad. They, they got a squad. I, think I don't know if OBJ paper, is going to be as effective as he as people think he is at this point, but he has a potential to. Like this yeah, could be like see. a Mahomes and Tyreek Hill. It just type depends of on if they pass. I, Baltimore don't pass that much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but they will. Yeah, they got them too. They do. That's what they do. Bro, think about think about how Pat Mahomes just. Pat Mahomes would just scramble around, and eventually Tyreek gonna be open, so he's yeah. just there. Like that's kind of how I see this. Like, All they need OBJ is to be what he was with the Rams, and that's gonna take him to a different level. Just but be can what he you be was that with though? the Rams. You think he I, can still be that? I don't we know, gonna find bro. out. He been off. He come out that the ACL injury. Yeah. Like that's it's a tough injury. Bro. Yeah, that's the second time, right? It could happen mm-hmm. though. It could happen, bro. But nobody even they number one safe back after uh, the Mark first Andrews one. Mark Andrews the number one option in that offense. They got Mark Andrews, bro. He, they he, still got Duvernay. They added. Uh, I don't know, but the Bengals kind of loaded Melvin too, though. Gordon too. Yeah. You said who? The Bengals. I'm. I'm just here processing the, the Bengals. The Bengals kind of loaded like they. The offense. The Bengals crazy. ain't no different than what they yeah. was last year. But that offense is crazy though. Dude. They don't need to be though. They were last year. He just gets better every year. I, see what Chase saying, that I just don't Chase think they bro. got better, bro. I think everybody mm-hmm. in the AFC North got better except the Bengals. Well, make- I think we had the best draft of all the teams in the NFL. We had the best draft and we had a great offseason. We gonna draft. be we gonna be great. I just feel like the Ravens. We gotta bro, put some respect they, on I Joseph Burrow, man. Man. Burrow, man. We gotta put some respect on Joseph Burrow. Let's Joseph be honest, he's probably the best, Cole. second best quarterback in the NFL. He's Joey, a gamer. Joe Burrow is different. You said you say the second best? He might be the second best. He could be. I ain't mad at that. Mm, nah, I Who got him right number three. I got him second. Who's in front of I still got. I still. I got A Rod, bro. I got A Rod, bro. Yeah, don't can't disrespect A Rod, bro. He had one uh, bad season. Nah, nah, nah. Bro, no. we gonna see A Rod turn up this year. This with some year, receivers. Yeah, this year will be the test of that because he has he got the same to throw to. No, no, he's on the Jets now. No, Danny, I'm saying Danny brings some of his homies. No, yeah, he talking, got some of his homies, but he got, he got uh, uh, State. Uh, dude. What's his name? Lazard came with him, right? In, uh, yeah, uh, he got uh, buddies from Wilson. State. Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson. Yeah. Garrett Wilson is Bro, they got dude. some cats over there. They got some defense, yeah. too. I think I think I give Joe Burrow number three, maybe four, because Josh Allen is a dog. Josh is my dog, but Josh, he's not consistent enough in the playoffs. He always finds some way to... Mess up. I'm like, right. he needs to be think, consistent. Yeah. Who was it? I was. I'm with you on that. Bro. I think it was Kirk Cousins. He'll fumble the ball or so he'll do something yeah. crazy. Like, yo, how you fumble the snap right there? Like, you you doing a quarterback draw? You already know what you're doing. Like, you, yeah. right. So. Yeah. I was watching that quarterback show too, which is a great show. Um, yeah, but check that out. I think it was it was either Kirk Kirk Cousins or Marcus Mariota. But they were saying early on in their careers, they tried to make big plays happen so much. Rather than just taking what the defense gives him and chipping away with those seven yard passes, yeah, those three yard passes, five yard passes. And I think Josh Allen tries to do that sometimes in games. Yeah. You know, those pressure situations. He's trying to make something happen because he feels like he has to, but then that those can translate to a really bad decision, you know, or mm-hmm. something like that in pressure. Um, unfortunately, Baker Mayfield tried to do that every play, <laughs> and you just saw how his uh, career kind of <laughs> took a, a nosedive. Oh, my gosh. Um, 
But I do think I do think the Browns will be good this year. I think I do too. We will live up to the hype. I'm optimistic about Deshaun Watson's future. I think he could be that quarterback again. He showed when he was in Houston. Um, I'm hey, excited man. for the. Hey, Don, hey, y'all X Factor to shout me is uh, Donovan to Peoples y'all, Jones. Man. That's y'all X Factor to me. Who I know Who's everybody's that? saying Amari Cooper, but Donovan Peoples Jones. Yes, like, if you was watching he's, games, he's, he's actually a deep, deep nice, threat. Bro. Yeah, he's a hey, deep threat, and bro. people won't give him enough. Dennis, you get no, Dennis. Don't even say it, bro. I know where you're going. I'm gonna tell y'all one thing, man. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Go ahead. The only winning team out of Cleveland is the Cavs, bro. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. We gotta admit, though. This year, this year we have no excuse, though. Like if we're bad, yeah. if we're bad, it's it's coaching. It might just be it, bro. Or yeah. it might fall on Deshaun Watson if he plays really bad. But other than that, we. We filled all the gaps we needed to. That Elijah yeah. Moore pickup was huge. I'm telling for you, us, the receivers bro. is gonna be huge. Nice, and we yeah. picked up that other tight end. We drafted a couple receivers. Yeah. Uh, our defense, we stacked up like we talked about. We picked up uh, Thornhill from Kansas City, mm-hmm. another safety. Like right. our line, we beefed up our line. It's like, bro, and we y'all got really... Nick Chubb. He might be the best running back oh, in the Nick league. Like, we got to think he is. To me, to me, I think yeah. the key to the Even- key. Derrick Henry admitted that too because they asked oh, him a question. Yeah. Hey, how's it feel to be the best running back in the league? He said, "I don't know." Ask Nick Chubb. <laughs> like, I feel that like dude is. I we got to give him the ball. The more, I, I think our key to his, our key the key to our success is is him. Give that man the ball. It yeah. don't make no sense. For Stefanski it. doesn't need to be super complicated. Yeah, right? like bro, Nick <laughs> Chubb needs Nick twenty Chubb. carries a game. <laughs> so and to Deshaun Watson can have the other snaps. I like him, but I hate the Browns. So, but I like Chubb is a dog. He's very, he's very good. And yeah. defensive wise, just be aggressive. Let these guys yeah. play. You know what I mean. We have we have no excuse, bro. Unless we got yeah. major injuries, you don't have to be super complicated. We don't got. We really don't have no excuse, bro. Like I think they try to make it as easy for Deshaun Watson as they could. Like they mm-hmm. literally stacked up yeah. all the pieces we needed. Yeah. So we'll see. But see? the thing the thing I like is that I don't feel like we're getting that much of a. I don't think there is high expectations for us, which I think is good because that's where we that's where we don't live up to it. When everybody's like, "Oh, the the Browns are going to the Super Bowl this year," they're off season. Like I feel like this was our best off season we had in a long time, and nobody's really talking about it. Which I love. Which I love that. Like, all right, which is great because I think the hype usually comes from the previous season, right? Right. You see Mm -hmm. us go to Game Two with the Chiefs and nearly beat them in the playoffs that one year. Now mm-hmm. everyone's putting those Super Bowl expectations or mm-hmm. playoff yeah. expectations on us the pr- the next year, the following year. But that's where we have a hard time. Like Caleb said, is well, you have all this hype and this momentum, mm-hmm. um, living up to that. You know, now we're just we have the pieces in place. We have a great roster. We just have to let them develop naturally. Yeah, and and kind of. I got us as away. as probably a wild card this year so. as a wild card team. I, I don't mm-hmm. I don't think we'll win the division. <laughs> Y'all I mean, might get three. Y'all division might get three in the playoffs. Yeah, it's just yeah. too yeah. much. Yeah. Like yeah. I, 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 I see this. I see this. I don't know if we're gonna get part. three. That's kind of. Ooh, that's, that's tough. Crazy. I think if we don't make the playoffs, Stefanski's gonna be in the hot seat. Oh, he'll um, be for the wild probably. wild card. But they were saying this uh, DC that they hired. There's a good chance that he might be the head coach in a couple of years, you know, a few years. He might be the future. So we'll see. You muted, Dennis. You muted, D. Yeah. They're already getting rid of Stefanski. <laughs> <laughs> They're already I, I like Stefanski. Like, I, I, um, I think he has some creative play calling, but I think he could be a little too creative sometimes rather than just keeping it simple, like Caleb said. If we're within the five at the red zone, get the ball to Nick Chubb. It's not that common. Yeah, bro. It's like, not that yeah, tough, bro. Like, that's that was like crazy. When, you got modern day, you got new right. Marshawn Lynch. Like, what are you when, doing? When Ohio State had JT Barrett and right. Ezekiel Elliott, for some reason, Ezekiel Elliott touched the ball like three times against Michigan State mm-hmm. in the second half, and we lost mm-hmm. the game. That and was he was crazy. like, I'm out of here. And wrong. I'm like, Urban Meyer. What? I, I could call plays right now and we could win this game. First of all, the, the weather's terrible. We missed a field too, goal. It's rainy, man. muddy, all that stuff. Give Ezekiel Elliott the ball. You're the best hey, running back. Field field you a Buckeye like, fan, right? Man. Nah, I'm a Spartan fan, so when we kicked that field goal, I felt yeah. good when we beat him that year. <laughs> I bet you did. That's the year we went on to win it all, right? We, we actually won it all that year. Yeah. We I lost so. to y'all, but we yep. killed uh, yep. Bama. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's – here's the thing, it's last thing I'll say about the yeah. Browns, is I think Stefanski, when he knew Baker Mayfield was trash, <laughs> he was great at play calling because he made it so yeah. simple for him, True. right? True. All, all we did was run the ball, mm-hmm. boom, boom, all right, play action fake, now somebody's wide open. All Baker got to do is make an easy pass. Like <laughs> After he got away from that because he started thinking Baker had a little bit of skill – 
like and started trying to like drop him back in the pocket and have him yeah. breathe. I'm yeah, like, bro, him Baker, man. let's be honest, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and we Cooking. never, and then, you know, it's like, bro, just get back to that. Just make it easy. Even for Deshaun Watson, when he first came back last year, I'm like, why are we passing so much? Just yeah. make it like his first game back should be easy. He should yeah. be handing the ball off That's so true. half the time That's at so least. True. And then yeah. that'll open up the pass game for him. Did y'all like, resign Kareem? No. No, no he's, he's gone. still. Well, he's on. He's still with us, but he's going to be gone. Mm-hmm. But we got yeah. like four good running backs, really. right? So, I so who like... coming? Who coming out the? Who, who y'all got coming out the NFC? Who y'all got coming out the NFC? Kansas City again, I'm say probably. Philly. To me. Philly. <clears throat> I'm, what if I told y'all the Chiefs might not come out this year? I wouldn't. Who be you? Who you got? Who you got then? <sighs> I might go. <sighs> the Dolphins brush are kind of crazy. Dolphins yeah, is crazy. Have, I like Dolphins is crazy. They do have a good roster. <laughs> Dolphins is crazy. I don't, but I don't. I won't say them. I'm Tua has say, to stay healthy though. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna I'm I'm say this crazy team. I'm a, kind of a fan of them. I think the Bills might make it out. Okay, that ain't a crazy team. I ain't no that crazy, ain't crazy take, team. But this, this is a crazy statement. I don't. I'm not. I'm not very confident that it will happen. But I would not be surprised if the Jets actually came out of the AFC. Uh-huh. I, by that. Yeah. I think, I don't know, man. I think Andy Reid is too good of a, a play. He I, got, I got the Chiefs out of the game, AFC. Man. But the Chiefs, the Chiefs are probably the favorite. Hey, y'all got to stop all this Chief talk, man. No, seriously, though. Like, they, they are the so, favorite. Man. Yeah, they got to be. Cause they got I still think the Bengals are up there, too, though. They yeah. stay healthy. Just because Burrow this. is so gamey in the playoffs, man. He just knows how to close. Yeah, he's a gamer. I probably pick right. San Fran. Mm, that's don't. I, I don't know. I got, they need a quarterback. I I go, yeah, 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 I can't see it. Probably Rob, Pur- Philly, Rob yeah. Purdy shows you some potential. So I think Philly I got, just got better though. Like you yeah, know, they kept the Philly. Like, yo, yeah, you, they had a top Philly 10 didn't pick get that Philly. much better though. That's the crazy. Philly lost five defenders, bro. They lost five of their starting defenders. I think they got worse, bro. Yeah, I think they got the Cowboys got better than Philly, bro. I don't know, man. They had a top ten pick. I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna choose the Cowboys, bro. They lost, bro. But 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 but, bro, any quarterback for the Cowboys in the playoffs. I know, bro. But the the Cowboys getting Stephon Gilmore was a game changer for them, and Philly losing five starting defenders and some cats on their line. It's gonna hurt, bro. Philly got worse, yeah. but I don't got the Cowboys. It's gonna hurt. I don't, don't got the Cowboys the coming Cowboys out the NFC. I'm not yeah, saying nah, that, yeah. Yeah. but Philly ain't get better than them, though. I think they right. they just. I mean, we see, we'll see. Philly always rotating that defensive line, like you know, what I'm saying yeah, there's always somebody great job at it. Cause yeah. like it's a system to me in Philly. It is D-line. a system, you know. Like give Carlin on the D line, he gonna average, he gonna get eight sacks. That's just they just know what they doing. You know, and let's be honest, bro. I got Chiefs Niners. Chiefs Niners. Let's be honest, bro. Philly, Philly blew the Super Bowl, bro. Like they did. I they had it. They did. Like, they did. Like, they had. They had the Chiefs in a in a chokehold in the first half. I mean, not, nothing against the Chiefs because they're just that good of a team. Everything against the Chiefs, bro. I'm tired of they, <laughs> bro, like, they, they were. A, they were a Super Bowl them. team. We ain't beat them year. since Mahomes came in the league. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna tell you what the difference was. Though. How do you the think the Browns feel, bro? Big Ben tucked us every him, year bro. for the past. 18 years. <laughs> Until his last year, y'all tucked us in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, that's huge. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go KC Philly. I know it sounds cliche, but. No, I could see it. That's it's only very, two teams in the NFC. Realistic. I think. I don't that's think a they very gonna, realistic. I don't, think they gonna, I don't think the NFL will allow it to repeat itself. Yeah. The NFL has been mad unpredictable the last couple it of years. Though, especially yeah, last has. year. Nobody expected the Eagles to be that good. Like, I, yeah. No, if you saw my fantasy no. team, I, you didn't do what I did, though. I just feel like it was just everybody had the bills like they had the bills going to the Super Bowl right off the rip last year like it's just it's so much that can happen throughout the year that's like true you just don't know like any you don't know that's what I love about football season man it could be like anybody nobody knows how the Jets gonna do it Aaron Rodgers like I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Cincinnati and I think San Francisco. I like that one. That'd, that'd, be, yeah. that'd be a good that's game. A, that's going to be a good that's game. game. Brock Purdy, that's, nice. Uh, that'd be a good one. Yeah, I, I hope got young. he develops. Um, I got Kansas City in the AFC. I think the NFC is tough, man. I don't know. Yeah, that's bad. That's why. I don't yeah. know, man. <laughs> I'm predictable. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's like hard, like it's just unpredictable. Yeah, I, I can't even choose an NFC team. I don't even know, bro. Like I got a sleeper team too, bro. Who? In the NFC? 
Okay. Seattle, bro. Who? Watch for Seattle. Bro. I was thinking about Seattle. Watch out for too. Seattle, bro. If Geno Smith can live up to it. And they just got Bobby Wagner back in that system too. Ooh, I was I was mad. Well, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of teams that are like there's a lot of teams that are like right there in the NFC that like I don't know. I yeah. feel like they could get over the hump. Like, hey, Seattle actually got a nice team. I think of DK. They, they do. got the Tyler Jigba, yeah. uh, the boy yeah. from Ohio State is oh, out there Jigba, yeah. with yes. Tyler Lockett oh. and, and, and uh, DK. DK. Yeah, oh, they, they got they, Noah they Like he and, and they the running back nice. Noah the boy nice Walker is man. nice. Where are you from? Who? Walker. Oh, Walker. From oh, he, he, yeah, he's from y'all, right? He's from Michigan State, right? Yeah. Yeah, they. They saw it. Shout out to the to the to the Stellars though, man. We going yeah. back to the offs, man. We back in the offs. <laughs> back in the offs. We back in the right offs. Right back. Man. <laughs> yeah, we ain't asking for much. We ain't asking for, for much. We just getting back to the offs. I, I'll say this: I'll never. I don't hate the Steelers with all my heart, but I would never. <laughs> I'll never count them out. Though, <laughs> like as a as an unbiased, just honest football lover, like you got to respect what the Steelers do. I'm a Browns fan, so I hate them. But it's like, bro. Like, the Browns had a better roster last year and got worse as the season went That's on. so true. Pittsburgh had a terrible roster last year and just got better and better, like, and almost Man. made a playoff push. Like, the difference problem. is that coaching, bro. The it's coaching and system, bro, room, and y'all bro, system. Like, the system, having a locker room on smash by the coach. And y'all let y'all let, y'all let y'all problems work out. Like, you guys don't just, like, abandon people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, y'all... If anything, like it's the players that dip on the Steelers. Players, that like, was their problem. problem. I was about yeah, to say that, like, that was their problem. <laughs> they had uh, Le'Veon and uh, Antonio. They should have yeah, got like, something for one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like I love, yeah, but I do. I love how the Steelers choose the culture over any individual yeah, player. Yeah, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Miami sure. Heat were like that too. Like Eric Spolster was stressing that. That's um, these. In that's an why interview, this many. he that's said this heat many. culture is something we <laughs> always talk about. You know, so the culture of an organization, and I don't need. I don't even know what the culture of the Cleveland Browns organization is. You know, like, <laughs> anybody, it changes so much. We have them. Yeah, they, they do choose kind of players over coaches yeah. and, and the system. Pittsburgh let Le'Veon. Like so they they were like, smart man. for that, though. They were smart for that. Yeah. Yeah, let Le'Veon but, go box and rap. Let <laughs> AB go spiral out of control, man. man. We, we got a team. I mean, we, we got a team to build, yeah. bro. Kansas City's and that way, on. too, man. Yeah. Yeah. They, they have a culture established yeah. there, and it's just... You plug in Pachuro and those other guys and going crazy. They bro. make them look great, you know. Sure. So it's like, man. Yeah, hey, they bro. said uh, this is funny. Yeah, like watching Pat Mahomes. Like they said, he couldn't have like everything good. So he had. They had. God had to give him a trash voice. I knew you. Like this guy is light skinned little, little handsome dude, super athletic, best. Quarterback ever sound like he about to fix have a trash your alternator. Voice, bro. Right. Oh yeah, we got we got we got to stick together as a team this year, guys. We really got to make this thing come through. Oh, we got a great group of guys out there. That yeah. just, just like that too. It's not like Kermit the Frog like, and smoking like cigarettes for like years. Just like this kid. Yeah, he do got the that's hilarious. Hey, Kermit, you got an ability though. You ain't get yours. Uh, I got Chiefs and um, I'm gonna say Cowboys. Nah, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> well, I was like, that's a bold and, move card. <laughs> I think the Niners, maybe. Yeah. But, like, they got to figure out that quarterback situation because yeah. they have all the pieces. Yeah, they do. And their defense they, they is like, cold. Yeah. 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 Like, they was they was right there, but. They need that quarterback. They're always the quarterback right there. piece. Yeah. That's gonna Before be, we lead our sports, man, I got one more thing, man. All right, hey, what we got? John Jones, stay off the cocaine. <laughs> yeah. He's back it's on the cocaine. No, 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 no. It's a fight. It's a fight announced. Yeah. Don't mess this up. Who is he fighting? Stepe Miocic, the great, you know, one of the, probably the best heavyweight ever. Like he beat anybody you could think in heavyweight. Stepe is him. So just lock yourself in the gym. Be with your family. Don't lock let yourself. me down. Don't let. He me need down. to have. He needs to hire somebody to be his like. Personal, like, yeah, just, bro, the fact, bro, the fact that, that this hey, is how Ma- Moran does John too. Jones is crazy. <laughs> right, bro, it happened yeah. too many times, bro. Be mad, fight. Like, I feel like John Jones I feel like John like Moran does too. Yeah. And if <laughs> he's <laughs> taking applications for someone to be his conscious, I will gladly take that job. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, bro, just pay me two hundred grand. I will tell you yeah. what exactly grand, do that's all and what exactly <laughs> not to do. Give me half a million. Hey, hey know your work, Don. Give me half. That's it. Half a million at least. If he actually does abide by it, then I'll put a bonus of like three three hundred thousand. You know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> 
I saw a meme I saw a meme with um John ja Morant where they were like doing the pre games and he was like high fiving something and it was a a metal detector and I just <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man hey, I saw oh, that him and um, him and his that, <laughs> they said uh, Guns and Roses on it that made me oh, laugh bro. man. Zion too. Zion too. Zion needs one of those too. Zion, we wow. Super talented guys. Zion needs somebody to manage his phone. Like just <laughs> here, let me hold <laughs> right. your phone, bro. Let me manage. Yeah, just it turn it off. You, you don't need it, this. Bro. You don't need free reign on this. Bro. Right. In John's defense, though, he has been seeming to be chill. So maybe I ain't got to really worry. But John looked great the last fight, bro. He, he looked better than ever. Yeah. I mean, kind of. You don't think so? He looks slow. I mean, that was the comeback. Oh, he got bigger though. He got bigger. If he looked like that against Stipe, it might be tough. You think yeah. so? I, the I, want, I don't think he would have. Hold on, so this fight is for show? Oh, yeah, it's, it's locked in. John Jones ain't taking that fight if he wasn't ready for that thing. Yeah, if he's he not getting himself into If he's not it's, getting himself into that, yeah. I don't think John Jones would even sign that contract. His, his, his strength that normally get him is his wrestling, but Stipe can wrestle too. Yeah, so I'm kind of interested in seeing like how, who implement what. Because Stipe... Can like he could defend a takedown and he got yeah. knockout power too, so like yeah. it's gonna be a good fight. Yeah, shout out tonight. It's a big boxing fight next yeah. week too, right? Yeah, Earl Spence, Bud Earl Crawford. Spencer. Yeah, you know, I like Ooh. both of them. I'm going with Earl. That's my dog. You know going with Spence. Okay. Yeah. I don't got no. I don't. I don't got no. Uh, nobody. I'm picking in there, but I'm definitely gonna watch it though. I'm definitely gonna try to. Catch I'm happy those. boxing doing it, man. Normally these cats be ducking for like twelve years. We gonna yeah. be sixty. Then these cats finally fight, but not. Yeah, these younger man. guys are getting right to yeah. it. It seems right like. to They're it. Getting right to it. We might get Tank and Shakur. Stay talking. So that's That'd another. be a good one. Yeah, mm. That's gonna be a goodie. Is Tank free? He out, right? He got out earlier. Oh, he got locked up. Yeah, he got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. off a uh, probation violation. Yeah. Uh, when he got out last, was it last week or earlier this last, week? I think it was last week. Okay, yeah. Well, that's he what gotta, I saw. He got to stay out of like, trouble, man. That dude is, he got a, he got a career ahead of him. Like, he just he getting did. started. One of the best. Yeah, he's one of the best he right like, now. Yeah, he's, might be the best. Yeah. I'm going to say he might be the best. He might yeah. be the best. He might be the best. <clears throat> Shoot, man. Man, episode, episode 100. 100. Shout out to our dogs, yeah, man. Shout out to Ben. I appreciate y'all having me on for real. Yeah. I'm just trying, I, listen, when I'm having rough weeks, uh, a lot going on, I throw the podcast on. I, I know I'm going to get some crazy laughs out of y'all because <laughs> sometimes I'll be at my dog, uh, Malk, too much. <laughs> yeah, you know how to say that. Say that. Say that. Not it, no, I'm playing. You're right, though. We do be. But Malk brings it on itself. Though. Malk I do it on that, purpose because I do it, it as like yeah. a. I do like a experiment just to see. We went through the whole pod without mentioning Kendrick one time, bro. Or hey, and then you and then you mentioned me. (laughs) Right, (laughs) bro. (laughs) Now, but y'all do listen. I'm I'm proud of y'all. Y'all do a very good job. Uh, Y'all don't get enough credit for the things y'all put out and you know the information that's provided for us. But I definitely I look forward to it. If it ain't every Monday, I know we're gonna get right back to it the following Monday. Yeah, so it ain't every Monday, but you know, we we appreciate that, man. For sure. Thank you, bro. Thank you, sir. Hey, Del, I thought you were going to come in here and turn up, man. We got to get into a turn up. Uh, we going to come nah, on. Nah, nah, he, he going, nah, nah. We going to get We going to have a Zion Williams conversation. You know I saying? got to, bro. We, we that's have a whole pod in itself, though. That's an hour. That's like a two-hour conversation. So. Man, listen. When we play spades, spades get intense. And we it's it's have a lot of fun. Game, but it's like, it's just over content about sports. So it's, it's, yeah. Every time. Every we single time. We always go crazy with every, sports, <laughs> every time, though. It takes us three hours to get through two games of space. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. We started like seven and be there till one. One a.m. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don, you got anything for, for, the, for the closing, bro? I enjoyed it, man. Have me back. Especially talking about sports because I know yeah. more about that than music. But, um, <laughs> you know, talking to you guys... On the, whether it's a podcast or in the room, it's like we never left. So Very I appreciate always. that, and it's it's very therapeutic. I like that. Yeah. Hold on, always. Don. You in What's Akron up, or bro? you down here? I'm in Akron. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you thought it was in a different room? <laughs> Man, listen, it just hit me. I'm like, I, I thought it was like split in half. Split. Right it next does to look, it. look like it. Look like <laughs> yeah. it was a wall. That was crazy. It's funny. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh, shoot, man. Hey, oh, man, episode, episode 100, 100, man. Episode 100, episode 100 man. Episode 100, man. We made it, bro. Made hey, Mo, 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 who the 100, though, Mo? You got to go double zero. You got to go with, like, a nah, track Nah, we, we 100, baby. We, we the 100. 
Will he scored a hundred? Drake. Will We're gonna have to start over, bro. Let's start back at one because we, yeah. we, we can't go with like one on one. We're gonna be so. like Nigerian runner two thousand sixteen. Track, track runners. <laughs> track runners is the only athletes with triple digit numbers triple that I can think number, of. Man. For, uh, hey, about to come to the NBA soon. Don't worry about it. Somebody triple go. digits. Hey, hey, if our test was still in, he yeah, I'm about to say we need like a meta to bring him or like Dennis Rodman. One of them catch first. Yeah, one of them catch first. Yeah, one of them catch first. One oh seven. <laughs> 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 he yeah, actually we definitely. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Bill. I think he had. What he had? At, he, he played for the Lakers. What he had? Ninety one for the Lakers. I think so. 90, yeah. 90 something. Ninety yeah. something. Yeah. Okay. Ninety five or something. Yeah. Like that. That's crazy. Yeah. In the nineties. I think World Peace had in, in the nineties. Yeah, some nineties. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the two Maybe, wild yeah. boys. Yeah, the two wild boys. <laughs> Well, we could definitely gotta shout out our listeners, man. Yeah, definitely yeah, really yeah. appreciate shout everybody that listen. listens to us, everybody yeah. that came on the pod today, man. This was a, one, probably our best, our best podcast ever, yeah. really. Like this yeah. was dope. We definitely gotta have guests on more often. But man, episode one hundred, man. Episode one hundred, man. Yeah. Shout out to the listeners, man. You know, you know what to do, man. If you, you know want to check us you out, man. Goes. Episode one hundred. Check us on our Apple Pod, Google Pod. You can catch us on Facebook. We was live today. That's the first. That was the first two. I think that one already is it's still up, ain't it? What? Yeah, I, think so. I think it's still up. We ain't get cut off today. Nah, we up, I think. Oh, we up. All right. Up, but man. YouTube, man, TikTok, we out here, man. Honest and number two God Pod. Mm-hmm. We we appreciate everybody, mm-hmm. man. And and uh, episode one hundred, man, we yeah. did it. And we got we gonna get better at, at promoting this because we all trash <laughs> at doing anything <laughs> on social trash. media. So. <laughs> It's to have pop up, listeners boy. consistently listening is crazy because we don't even right. post it half the time. Like, yeah. it's, it's, like we got to do better, bro. We got to be a hundred episodes in. It's time to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. you know what it is, man. Honestly, Honestly God. Man. yes, sir. We out here.